Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and don't forget to share the video as soon we download it and share it with everybody. As many people they download the videos and they share it. Today our topic is about how to approach a Muslim. And uh, supposedly I will speak about how, or this is what I understand from the question, how we make a Muslim accept Jesus. Or convert to Christianity first of all I'm not here trying to make Muslims convert to Christianity I'm not I'm here to share the truth and then he convert to Christianity that's not me if he find the Christianity is where the truth is then this is his choice so my duty or your duty as a Christian is to share the truth to tell the truth now who accept or reject this is his business so let us not to make the target is converting them as much the target is to be truthful with them. After being truthful with somebody, then it is his business to accept the truth or to reject the truth. And the reason I say I don't want really to convert them, I want to share the truth with them because converting somebody, it's not in your hand anyway. And it's not your decision anyway. And if you convert him by lying to him, that's mean you are a liar, the same as he, you know. I mean, he was believing in a lie before, and now he is believing in an, an, an additional lie. So the target for a Christian is to be a Christian, and to be a Christian is to be truthful. And to be truthful, you have to share the truth and the truth only. And then whoever want to believe, he believe. Whoever don't want to believe, clean the dust of your sandal from his house, as the Bible says. So, how to approach a Muslim? You see, every human being is different. If I'm walking in this beach here, and there's a Muslim with me, he might say to me, Oh, Christian, look, this is what Allah created. And that will give me an opportunity to speak about Allah. So, the best way to approach a Muslim is not to you speak about God wait for him to say it and usually Muslims when they see a Christian they try to harass him so it's going to come just wait have patient and the reason I say that because when he opened the door is different from you open the door the Muslim always they play victim oh because I'm a Muslim he's harassing me the Muslims are you know they are oppressing everybody in the world and the second you go lunch let us say <laughs> some kind of uh, exposed to his cult it's the same second he play a victim so let him start let him say something I never saw a Muslim he sit with me and he find out that I am a Christian and he don't right away go and attack me right away the second they knew you are a Christian they will say something and for sure this is generally speaking so wait for him to say something and the second he say it you go from there every human being is different everyone he think differently so today we are going to uh, to find out how really we can talk to them can somebody give me something like w w first time a muslim he asked about christianity what he asked you about anyone remember <clears throat> anyone remember like what is the first question a Muslim he gave you give me one just to to show you like how you can take the question and make it used for your benefit it's Trinity you see when a Muslim he says to you okay how you believe in the Trinity the question is how you believe in Allah he says to you Allah he said okay I said uh, uh, my God he said <laughs> Are you a person of double standard? My God, he said, I believe. Your God said, you believe. So it's not about how. It's about you accept whatever it says there. It's not because it's how and it's convincing. As an example, if a Muslim, he speak to you about Jesus, he will never make fun of Jesus being born of a virgin. But have you ever heard of a virgin giving birth? No. So why you accept Jesus is born of a virgin? Because it says so in the Quran. So the Muslim is not discussing really if this is possible or not. He is just discussing blindly without using his brain. That how that can be. 
Well, this is why we call him Almighty God. Almighty God is the one who can do what nobody can do. So if it's impossible to God to be three person, but yet one, it's been impossible for him to be God anyway. Are you getting my point? Why we call him almighty then, if he is not almighty? Either you believe he's almighty or not. Mr. Uh, Justice, he's asking me, here we go. Mr. Justice is helping us. He says, are you pagan? Well, Mr. Justice, the pagan is the one who kisses stones and pray in front of stones and he bow down to stones. And that is Islam, my friend. We Christians, we have nothing like this. <clears throat> It is you Muslims who believe that the stones can forgive your sin. If you touch the stones, stones, they erase your sin. And you know what? I don't like to say things without proof. Here we go. This is your prophet teaching the Muslims that touching stones around the Kaaba erase your sin. So who is the pagan? So this is a great question, actually. When a Muslim, he says to you, are you a pagan? Well, right away you show him that the pagan is the one who believe in the following, that God, he have a right hand, and the right hand of Allah is a black stone. And this is your prophet saying, not me, that touching two corners of the Kaaba, erase your sin, the black stone and the Yemeni corner. Are you there, Mr. Justice? Now, Mr. Justice, he will go and take a hike and he will hide because he cannot explain to us how touching stones will forgive your sin. So what we notice here, that if you are not armed with knowledge, a Muslim, he can ask you questions and he try to make it embarrassing for you. But the fact, if you have knowledge, that the same question is going to be embarrassing for him. Now, show me where Jesus says, go and kiss stones or worship stones. Show me where Jesus says that, you know, uh, we have a holy stone. Show me where Jesus says that a stone is the right hand of God. Show me where Jesus says that a stone is going to witness for me in the day of judgment, is going to have two eyes and will have a tongue. So the Muslim is a pagan with certification, yet he used everybody to be pagan. Do you believe it? Let me see where I can find the hadith about the black stone with tongues. Just to show you how, how pagan this cult is. Yet they accuse everybody to be pagan. It's part of your religion and the system of your God, stones. Here we go. The messenger of Allah said about the black stone, by Allah, Allah will raise it in the day of resurrection with two eyes, which it sees and a tongue that is speak with, speak with, testifying to whoever touch in truth. Are you there, Mr. Justice, or you took a hike? So, Mr. Justice, he said to you, as a Muslim, he is a Muslim, and you are a Christian, are you pagan? Now, we discover that the pagans are Muslims, not us. We don't believe that the stones can erase our sin, as Muhammad said. That is paganism. Because the one who erased your sin is God, and touching stones will not make any difference. Unless you are a pagan person. So Muhammad is a certified pagan and we are using his own text.
we are not using something from our pocket and here what the Muslims would do oh I don't accept this hadith I don't care you accept it or not you see the the Muslim they say I don't accept it is a very good sign that he is now in a revolutionary mood he don't like what his prophet said he is disgusted he is ashamed of him and now we want to dump all what his prophet said do you understand so when a Muslim he says this hadith is da'if, da'if, what da'if, da'if mean weak, but even the weak hadith by the way is accepted. But this is the ignorant, they say that, you know, da'if, da'if. Okay, so what does that mean? It means Islam is a corrupt religion. Isn't it Islam based on the hadith and the Quran? So if you are saying to me that the hadith, which is Muhammad's speech, and the Quran, which is Muhammad's speech anyway, is corrupt, that means you have no, you have no belief. So how you will know which one is the one you trust? <coughs> How we will know which one to trust? Why Allah did not preserve the hadith as long as Quran is not enough alone? You see, the Muslims all of them they agree that Quran alone is not enough. And actually, those who believe in Quran only, those are apostate. They are apostate because the Quran says so. The Quran says that you have to obey Allah. And you have to obey the messenger actually some verses says that you have to obey the prophet first and then you obey Allah whoever obey the messenger he obey Allah okay so how you obey the messenger if you don't have his words to be obeyed do you understand me, people? Guys, don't repeat the text. I, I saw you, uh, uh, Samson, please. You know, I'm not a blind, my friend. It's okay, but we have a topic. Don't worry, don't worry. You are talking to Christian Prince. I, I, I appreciate that you are giving me a hand. You know, I mean, it's okay. I, I, I really appreciate that. But don't repeat the text. You are just spamming, spamming now. Let us, guys, take it easy. Don't worry, don't worry. We will cover it all. I mean, I spank Muhammad every day, 24 hours, seven days a week. Do you know how many people left Islam just in the last 24 hours when I am offline? Speaking to people in Skype? You don't know. Take it easy. This cult is destroyed already. And the one who destroyed is Muhammad, not me. Now look at this. He who obeyed the messenger. If you say to me that the hadith is not trustworthy, how we can obey the messenger? Correct, guys? If you are saying to me that the hadith is full of garbage, okay, I want to now obey the Quran. Allah ordering me to obey Muhammad. And obviously, obey Muhammad is mean obey the words of Muhammad, the orders of Muhammad. Okay, where we can find the authentic orders of Muhammad? To make it simple, what is authentic is not authentic any anymore. Because they bent in the mood of the Muslim, if the hadith is embarrassing, they say, we don't accept it. I will, I will give you a very uh, easy example. <clears throat> I, will, I will give you something funny. All right. Satan, he do fart when he hear the prayer of the Muslims. But this is a very authentic hadith. Okay, any Muslim here, he have a uh, problem with this hadith. Who is the Muslim agree with this hadith and who is the Muslim who rejected? That shaitan, he do fault when you pray. And that explains the global warming. Any smart Muslim who have little education, he will say, this is, this is a joke, this can't be true. But this is authentic. This is authentic. So because it's embarrassing, they say we don't accept it. And this is a very good sign. That's mean the Muslim now he start thinking. He start what? Thinking, which is unusual. It hurt. See, if you did not move your hand for long and you try to move it, it hurt. Because you did not use it for a while. 
So when the Muslim, he see those things, which is proving Muhammad to be a false man, he get hurt. And because he got hurt, he scream, he says things we should not, he should not say, or he reject to save himself from the stupidity, which we see in the front of us. When Muhammad, he said, aren't you afraid? <clears throat> Can you stream about the reformation? What reformation? What reformation? Islam reformation? There's no such a thing. It's a big fat lie. <clears throat> when Muhammad, he says as an example this. If you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will transform your head to a head of a donkey. Okay, how come we don't see one person in the world who raised his head before? Uh, before the Imam, his head turned to be a head of a donkey. Never happened. That's me. Muhammad is a fraud. So a Muslim who have little, you know, courage, he would say, well, this prophet, either he is lying to us, making fun of us, trying to scare us like kids in the old days when we were like, you know, there's a, there's a beast outside. If you go in the dark, he will eat you. Or he is telling the truth. Right? So you have to take one. And obviously Muhammad is not being truthful. So if Muhammad is speaking to the Muslims, trying to scare them, that's when Muhammad considers Muslims are a bunch of kids. And he don't respect them. Additional to that, you do not make people practice something based on fear but not based on the truth. Somebody saying this is narrated hundreds of years after Muhammad, the Quran narrated hundreds of years after Muhammad. So what we will do? This is not my business. Why this hadith is accepted for the last 14 centuries and now it is not? What happened? What happened that people today, they get smarter and they are more educated and this is stupid. So the only solution they say, oh, this is, uh, I reject this hadith, it's weak. You know what I mean? But the fact, this is, was not rejected. This is why it's called Sahih. The name of the book Sahih, do you know what Sahih mean? Sahih mean accurate, authentic. So this is a book called Sahih. Imagine the book, it's called Sahih is wrong. So the only way for them to escape the humiliation and the stupidity of the cult founder is to say, I don't accept this hadith. Secondly, the issue I raised, my friend, there's nothing is called reformation of a Christianity. There's nothing, nothing like that, my friend. Uh, people, you know, from the beginning, uh, always man is a corrupt man. Man is a corrupt. This is why man is not in heaven. So man, he do corruption. And man can use God or religion for his benefit. And this is nothing new. So the reformation you are talking about is just a political. Otherwise, Christianity does not need to be reformed because we have the teaching of Christ. Do you understand me, my friend? So if there is a priest, he is a scumbag. We'll get rid of him. Don't go to his church. That's it. There's nothing is called reforming Christianity because Christ, he gave us the perfect belief. We need to fix ourselves. So this is not about a sect or about, it's about, uh, you know, everywhere there's people who take advantage. Even if it's a Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox, there is people who they are liars, thieves, like Judah. They are exist from the time of Jesus. Uh, Judah, he was one of the disciples. So always there is Judah. All right? So what you are saying have nothing to do with the Christianity. Because nobody can reform the teaching of Christ, for it is perfect and amazing and beautiful. Love your enemy. 
Pray for those who curse you. How you can reform that? Actually, a human being cannot reach to be noble, not even in a billion years from now, to say, love your enemy. Now, some naive people, they say, Islam need to be reformed. And that is a stupid statement too, because how you can reform Islam? Are you going to reform Muhammad? His words is here, his Quran is there, and that's it. In order to reform such a thing, you have to get a new book. Samson, I have to give you time out, and I will block you if you keep repeating the topic. If you are not adult, mature, please don't stay here. I said many times, don't repeat your text. Anyone will repeat the text. I will give you, I will, I will give it to you like the same as Muhammad. Three time only. If you repeat it more than three time, I will ban you. That's when you are a kid and you are not listening. So, when a Muslim come to me, he bring a topic. And that topic is going to be used against him. Give me another topic. Can somebody tell me? Why did God made us so corrupt? No, God did not make us so corrupt. God, he gave us a free will. This is why not every one of us, he do what uh, someone else does. There's some, they are child molesters. There's some, they are thieves, you know. So everybody have his own way of guilt. But there's guilt. There's a, there's a guilt like mountains, and there is somebody. Maybe he uh, he just uh, uh, his eye look at a woman walking in the street. There's a huge difference between what people do. Now, can you give me another topic? Muslims they hit you with it. We answer you about the Trinity. The Trinity. If they say to you the Trinity, say, well, God, He says that He is a three in one. So what the problem? If He cannot be three and one in the same time, that's me. He cannot be God, for He is Almighty. And he can be as he wish, not as you wish. Is the Muslim who design how Allah is? No. Is the Muslim who choose how Allah is? No. So how they accept their God who have a shin, he have a hand, he have five fingers, he have a leg, he have two eyes, he have two right hand, two right hands, yeah. Hmm. Which is funny. And nobody ask him why. Nobody asks Allah why you have two hands in the right side of you. What's happened? Is that a is that a birth defect? Why do you don't question Allah for how he look like? Why Allah have two eyes anyway? If Allah is all seeing, how you can see with two eyes everything? Yeah, the one who is asking how to approach Muslims, my friend, if you just join now, we'll play the video from the beginning. You don't approach the Muslims. The Muslims will approach you. Wait for them. Don't worry. They will. Muslims cannot resist seeing somebody believe in Christianity and not to come to him and try to convert him. But you have to be ready and if you are a fool, don't open your mouth. If you are ignorant, don't claim education. And if you do not know your book, don't debate about anyone about his book. So first you have to study your book very well. Otherwise, why you are talking about religion if you don't have even one? Secondly, study very well their logic and their belief. Arm yourself with knowledge. Knowledge is the key of winning souls and sharing the truth. Ignorance will bring nothing but ignorance. How to answer Muslims when they say they eat halal meat? I mean, what does this have to do with my topic? First of all, halal meat. I mean, <laughs> I mean, is that important really? I mean, halal meat. <laughs> First, my friend, a Muslim, he can eat even a pig. Because Allah, he said to them, I allow you to eat 
the food of the people of the book. And as long he is allowed to eat the food of the, 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 the people of the book, which means the Christians, that means he can eat our food with no problem. But my friend, we are exist in the words of donkeys who do not know what they are talking about. If we go in the Quran right now, we will find the following. Chapter 5, verse number 5. Do you see it? <laughs> it's lawful for them to eat our food, whatever it is. Whatever it is. So this is what the stupid, you know, the, the problem is there is people, they call themselves religious, uh, but but they don't even know what, what is religious mean and they do not know what is, their religion is. So a Muslim, he have no excuse to eat from your food or not because it's made lawful for him to eat all kind of food presented by a Jew or a Christian without a questioning what is inside the food. You see, it doesn't say I make lawful for you some of their food. It says it make lawful for you their food, whatever they slaughter. So the problem is that we have people who they are ignorant and ignorant, they don't teach you religion. Ignorant, they teach you their ignorance. Now, we go back to the topic. They ask how God can sleep. Uh, okay, well, where we where we find that Jesus he was sleeping isn't it the same time when Jesus he was in the boat and he controlled the storm so if a Muslim asks you how God can sleep well how he is asleep but he is controlling the nature around him how a, how a man this just to show you the hypocrisy when a Muslim he asks you a question always when he says to you okay how how God can be God yet he eat yet he sleep well, how Jesus is just a man who sleep and eat, yet he can control nature. He can make the blind see. He can create from the mud the bird, living bird. He can tell you what is hiding in your house, as the Quran says. They will say to you by the will of Allah, that is your claim. What is confirmed is that Jesus can do what no man can do. So why when you want Jesus can do what no man can do, only God can do, and when you want Jesus is just a man? You see the hypocrisy? And if we say that God, he sleep, God, he sleep, what does sleeping mean? Is that him being out of knowledge and aware? And prove it to me. Jesus has been asleep or not, still he can read your mind. Still he knew what you are doing, still he can control the nature, and the Bible is the, right there. In the Quran, we see that Jesus, he can tell you what you hide in your houses, even though you are not with him, and maybe he was asleep. Does it say that? I tell you what you hide in your houses. Okay, how Jesus he knew that he was asleep at home, and I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your houses. This is Quran, chapter three, verse number forty-nine. The Muslim they will say to you, by the will of Allah, <laughs> this is your claim, but it was it's confirmed. That Jesus, he knew what you store in your houses. Now, can you prove to me that Allah, he knew what we store in our houses? You cannot. Actually, I can prove the opposite. Because if Allah, he knew what we store in our houses, then Allah should not know, should, should know how the baby is created. But the Quran says that the baby is created from a sperm, which became a congealed dead blood. 
So what kind of God he knew? Look at this God. Allah did not sleep. And Jesus doesn't sleep. But Jesus who sleep, he can inform you while he is sleeping what you have in the other room or in the other house, which is a different city. And Allah who do not sleep, he do not know how he made the baby. Are you getting my point? Now, how many of you is taking notes? How many of you taking notes? You see, I answer Muslims from their books. I don't use my book because they will say, oh, we don't believe in it. So why do you want to waste your time? Get him busted from his book. So what the Quran confirmed that Jesus, even if he is asleep, he can see what you do in your home. Who is saying so? The Quran. You cannot hide anything from Jesus. That's what the Quran is saying. I know what you did. I know what you store. I know what you said. I know what you have in your houses. So how Jesus can do that? They will say to you, Allah, by Allah, leave. This is your claim. I can say that I am the one who gave the leave to Jesus. Hey, Jesus, you did make the blind see because I am CP. I made you, I made you do that. That is, a, that is a stupid argument. Prove it to me. Muhammad all his lifetime could not make one person see as Jesus did. Muhammad was busy making verses. Any woman she want to give herself to the prophet so he can do boom, boom with her. Where is the miracle of Muhammad? If I type one word in the Quran, ayah, which means a miracle. Huh? Ayah. Okay. Look what it says. They say to him, why he, why his God don't have us give us a miracle? Why his God don't even speak to us? Why Allah don't give us any miracle, any sign? How why why this guy is a prophet, but he have nothing? And Muhammad he says, uh, well, you know, if you give them a miracle or not, they will not follow you. And even if you were to bring to the people of the scriptures, the Jews and the Christians, ayat, proves and evidence. Ayat, it's mean miracles. This guy, the translator, he's adding verses, listens, that's stupid. It's a miracles. So even if you bring them, they will not follow you. And by the way, this is a proof Muhammad to be a false prophet. Because who are the those in YouTube who they are Muslims supposedly claiming that they used to be Christians and they became Muslims? Do you understand? If the Quran confirmed none of the Christians and none of the Jews will convert to Islam even if you bring them a miracle. And that to explain why Muhammad he have none and zero. So who is this guy? You have a video of him in YouTube converted to, to Islam. That's me, Muhammad is a liar. This is a false prophecy. And why Muhammad don't have a sign? And Jesus have all the signs. If Jesus, he have the ability to tell you the unseen by the will of Allah or the leave of Allah, where is the leave of Allah when it's come to Muhammad? Do you understand, my friend? Give me another question. We answer about Jesus, he sleep. Jesus, he sleep, he tell you what you hide in your houses. Jesus, he sleeps still. He can make you blind, uh, make 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 the blind see. Jesus, you know, he sleeps still. He can make the one who cannot walk walk. Jesus, who sleep, he can still make from the mud a living bird. And this is who Jesus, the one who sleep. So because they are bankrupt, they remember that Jesus, he sleep, but they don't remember what Jesus can do, what nobody can do. And this is my challenge to the all Muhammadan. Can you name for me one person he can do what Jesus does in your religion? Including Allah. Can Allah create a mosquito? If they say yes, prove it. Actually, we can prove easy that Allah cannot be the creator of anything. Look at this. <clears throat> Do 
If we go in the Quran, we will find some of the most funny things ever. Allah is speaking science. Allah is the one who has created every living creature from the water. Every living creature created from the water. Who is a Muslim agree with this? Who is a Muslim agree that Allah created every living creature from the water? Anyone in the bushes? Who is a Muslim agree with this verse in the Quran? Again, a warning. Anyone who speak about different, any Christian sect, I will ban you from the text. Anyone he say the word Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox in the text, please admins just block him immediately. Any Muslim, he have an answer. Do you believe that everything is created from water according to Islam? Look at them. We have a lot of Muslims listening, but nobody have the courage to say I agree. Any Muslim would like to call me and say that he agree with this. Just to show you that Allah cannot be the creator because the creator, he knew what he created. Very simple. You know? So the question is, do this creator, he knew what he created or he is ignorant about his creation? <laughs> I never heard of a creator. He is the last one to know what happened and done by his hands. Let us see. <clears throat> All right. Anyone? I'm waiting for a Muslim. No, Christianity does not have a uh, destiny. That's false. The destiny we are talking about in Christianity that God, he chose, let us say, uh, God, he chose people. As an example, God, he chose Mary. All right? But this is not a destiny because Mary still can accept or reject to be a believer. So God, he can choose me to do a mission, but yet I can be, even though I'm chosen, to reject that mission. And I will give you an example. Is it true, guys, that Jesus accepted Judah as disciple of him? He did, right? Okay, here we go. God, he made a choice that this person, he will be a disciple of mine. Then Judah, he decide he don't want to be. He betrayed God. So this is a very false argument. It works only with naive people who have a low IQ. It doesn't work with us. We don't believe in such a thing. God, he created angel or he created Satan. He created actually angel, but then angel, he decided to be Satan. So even angels in Christianity, they have a freedom of a choice. Right? Somebody is asking why he would choose you if he knew you would reject his mission. So you will reject. And you would do what you need to do. You know, why God, he will punish you if you did not commit a crime? <laughs> you see, people are like kids. It doesn't matter what you say. And why God, he chose me if he knew I'm rejecting. Will God, he say to you, you are free. And now you are asking him why you make me free. The question is not why he chose you. He chose all of us actually to believe in him. Every single one of us, he chose us to believe in him, but we reject. So very naive and very, I mean, some, don't, don't get married. The one who posed that question, I advise you, don't get married for the coming 10 years because you are obviously not mature. 
right? God, he chose us to live in his kingdom and he love us, but we choose to reject him. Uh, Muslim says Bible is corrupt. Okay, we look like nobody want to speak about uh, Allah created everything from uh, from water. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the Bible is being corrupt. Who is the Muslim who says that? Is is he in the chat or? Uh, is he in the chat? The one who says. Uh, the Bible is corrupt. Is he here? One by one, one by one. Is the one who says the Bible is corrupt, is he in the chat? Okay. Uh, this is a Muslim. His name is a CP destroyer. All of them, they destroy me. Have you ever seen a Muslim don't destroy me? Okay, let us see who destroy who. As long you say that the Bible is corrupt, thank you very much. You just approved to us Islam to be false. Because according to your cult, the one who sent the Bible is Allah. So what you are saying to me, you are not accusing me, you are accusing your God. You are saying that my God Allah is a shish kebab, anyone can spank him and he can change his book and, he, and what he can do about it, nothing. Is it your God, he says he is the one who said the Injil and the Torah? Huh? Is that your book or my book? Busted. So a Muslim, when he says to you, your book is corrupted, he is saying his book is corrupted because according to them, this is the book which Allah he sent. So who is the stupid here? The one who say his book is a corrupted or the one who says my book is not. So you are the one who's saying your book is corrupted, not me. We don't agree. You as a Muhammadan, you are saying that I have a God. His name is Allah. He sent the Torah. He sent the Injil. And yet you Christians, you spank him and his ass and you corrupted his book. Well, thank you very much. That is a proof that Allah cannot be God. Are you there, Mr. Destroyer? Are you brushing your teeth with the miswak now? Who is a Muslim when I answer this? Secondly, we are not done with this topic because this topic is fun. Did Allah allow the Torah <coughs> and the gospel to be corrupted by his will or against his will? Who is the Muslim want to give me the answer? Hmm? Who is the Muslim want to give me the answer? Anyone? Was this corruption happening by Allah will or against his will? Any Muhammadan? Hmm. As you see, the Quran is confirming what is with us. You see here, even the Muslim translation, because they are liars, <coughs> excuse my voice, it's not good. It says here, نَزَّلَ عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ بِالْحَقِّ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ approving, approving what is between his hands, which is what? The Torah and the Gospel. How Muhammad, he approve it if it's corrupt? Now we are waiting for the answer. The Torah and the Gospel, you Muslims, you claim it's corrupted. Was it corrupted against Allah will or by Allah will? The Bible prophet, Allah does not say Bible. It says Injil. This is additional proof that Allah is a scam. Why? Because Injil is a Greek word. So if Allah and Muslims says that Jesus was sent to the Jews, why his book is in Greek? <laughs> Isn't it your silly Quran says we never send a messenger unless he speak the language of his people so they might understand? So the Bible should be 
In Hebrew, according to the Quran, only. Because you Muslims claim that the only one is a messenger for all mankind is Muhammad. Okay. So how the book, it's called Injil, which is a Greek. Yet Jesus, he should be speaking only Hebrew and his followers, they speak Hebrew. Are you there, Abdul? Additional proof that Muhammad is under the influence of the Greek Christians. They don't have Arabic Bible. He heard about Injil. So he used the word Injil. Additional proof that Muhammad is a scam. Now, we go back to zero. Who is the Muslim want to tell me? Is the Bible of Allah corrupted by his will or against his will? Who want to answer? Any Muslim can answer this question? <laughs> they cannot. <laughs> they cannot. <laughs> because if they say... You see, as long they are covered to answer, if they say uh, uh, according to his will, that's when Allah is the devil. He sent us a book and he decided to corrupt it. So what's my problem? If they say, if this is his will, if they say this is against his will, that's when Allah, his will doesn't match and doesn't make any difference. Who is the one who corrupted the book? And what is the involvement of Allah? Isn't it Allah? He says, "La mubaddila Nobody can change the words of Allah. Hmm? Nobody can change the words of Allah. So Allah make a challenge. Nobody can change His words, and yet you say to me that the word of Allah changed. So Islam is a stupid cult. Any Muslim? And this is how easy it is to prove Islam to be stupid when they say to you the Bible is corrupt. Right? Because they are talking about their Bible, which supposedly the Bible of Allah is corrupt. So what's my business? This is accusation against his God, not against me. You see, I have books. I have many books. Now, if I write a book and somebody else corrupted my book, isn't it my responsibility, the author, to protect my book or the responsibility for someone who's in the street? This is my book. So if Allah is the one who sent the Injil and he is the one who sent the Torah, that means it is the responsibility of Allah and the Quran come from that. That nobody can change the word of Allah. And then you come to me and you say, okay, well, the angel is corrupted. You just you just prove to me that Allah is a liar because he says nobody can change his words, yet you change you are saying the, the word is changed. Are we taking notes, guys? Are we taking notes? The word here refer to decree, promise. Ah, decree, promise. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let me get you busted. It is not. It's about a book. Here we go. The verse before it. Now you are a certified donkey and you are earning a one-way ticket to Mecca. Do you see it says? We reveal to you the scriptures and nobody can change the words of Allah. So you are a donkey now. Actually, I take it back. You don't deserve such a title. Who is next? Ah, you remind me of the word donkey. <laughs> Your God, he think he is the one who created the mule. Look like your God, he do not know that the mule is not created by him. It was the fruit of one night stand date. Allah created the mule. How is that? How 
Hello? And horses and mules. Are, what, what? Allah created the mules? Are you sure? <laughs> uh, he created the mule who is the originator. Okay, hold on. You see, if you create the originator, then you do not need to mention the mule. Because you did not create the mule. You created the horses and the asses. The mule is not your creation. <laughs> when you say you created the mule, it's mean you made a creature by itself from the beginning. It's called the mule. Uh, hold on. Let me show you something. Allah is a, uh, he worked with the, <clears throat> he worked with the, uh, uh, the, the station called, uh, Discovery Channel. Look what Allah he says. There's those things nobody knows except Allah. You know? Hmm. Allah has created every animal of water. By the way, does it say every animal? No. It says every dabba. Anything live in the earth or a living creature is created of water. And then he continues saying, and he and those, some of them, they uh, walk in their belly. The word in Arabic here is walk, yamshi, not a creep. But animals didn't walk in their belly. They creep. This is a wrong Arabic. And then some of them, they have two legs. And some of them, they have four legs. Are you sure? That's it? This is the creation of Allah? Okay, how many how many legs do spiders have? Any Muslim can tell us? How many legs the spider he has? Do you see only four? What about those who have many legs? How Allah claiming that he is the one who created every living creature in this earth from water and either they walk in their belly, which is false, or they walk with two legs or four legs. Well, just go, go. Change your name at least. Any Muslim have an answer? Did you hear about this insect? She had a date and she wanted to go and meet her boyfriend and she was late because she was, she had to wear 44 high heel shoes. Hmm? Look like Allah never heard of those things. He never do as usual. What kind of God does God is? He think that either they have two or three or four. So who is this uh, gentleman there? <laughs> who is this? <laughs> oh boy. This is God. Same time, every creature, every living creature is created from, let us get better translation. This translation is false. Is it created from water? 
Here we go. This is better. Every living thing, every living thing, every moving thing, this is correct, actually, a creature created from water. Who is a Muslim agree with that? Anyone? Let me give you the answer showing you that Allah cannot be God from the Quran. The Quran says that Allah created the genie from fire. Do you see it? Where is the water? Chapter 38, verse number 76. And genie, he live in the earth, remember? And not only that, the Muslim believe that genie, he even can have sex with them. If you search right now in Google, you will find tons of articles and books written by Muslims about genies having sex with Muslim women or Muslim men having sex with the female genie. Okay, that's okay. Just hold on. Do you see it? So the verses where it says that Allah created every living thing from fire, from water is wrong, because the same book confirmed that genie and who is a living thing is created from fire. Correct. Hey, my friend, I don't read the Bible to dismiss the Quran. Here we go. The Quran is dismissing itself. I do not need to use the Bible. And the reason I don't use the Bible to dismiss the Quran, because why I want to do that? Because the Muslims will say to you, I don't accept the Bible anyway. But when you show them this from their Quran, you are not wasting your time and the story is over. Can they say, I don't accept this? They cannot. All right. Do you understand me? So when you speak to a Muslim, if you want to destroy Islam, avoid, avoid speaking about the Bible unless it is necessarily. Because at the end of the day, this guy he don't believe in your book. So what? Or why you? Or what? Or, I mean, it's like a, it's somehow not smart. Get him busted first using his own book, and then he cannot say I don't agree with this book. Do you understand me? And then after he is accepting the reality that the Quran is a book of contradiction and stupidity, then you can give him the jewels you have, which is the Bible. You understand? You notice that when you come to listen to me, I don't speak about the Bible reading. I speak about it only just to get somebody busted. He said something not true. But I confirm Islam to be false using only Islamic books and Quran and Hadith, something the Muslims agree upon. Now, how Allah says he created every living thing from water, then the shaitan, who is a genie, created from fire. Obviously, Muhammad, he forgot what he said. Uh, Muslim and the proud is saying Islam is the truth you cannot debate about Christianity okay well my friend what about you give me a call right now why you don't give me a call and why you want to debate only about Christianity you know what I will give you a golden opportunity one a question from you one a question from me is that fair guys ask me whatever you wish and I ask you whatever I wish if you are the man give me a call if you are not, just put your tail between your legs and let your mama call me. 
because I have a question for her about how to make falafel. Are you the man? Are you the man if you would challenge? Everybody saw your text that I cannot defend the Christianity. By the way, I don't defend Christianity. Why I want to defend Christianity? Christianity stand by itself is strong. Now, bring me your best. One question from you, one question from me. But now what you will do, you will take a nap and you will say, I'm busy. I'm washing dishes from my wife. Which one of them? The first or the second or the third or the fourth? Are you there? He's dead. Look, he's dead. He's not even texting no more. And the reason he posted this text, he thought I will not read it. He said, I will challenge him, but he will not read it, and that's going to go through. And then I will take a snapshot. I will go to show it to my wife. Says, I challenge the Christian prince today. And the coward, he ignored my text. Let me make it clear. All of you Muslims right now, the one billion Muslim, you can call me right now. My Skype is open. You Muslims, you don't dare to have your Skype open for us to call. I ask Zakir Naik. I ask well, all those kids like Mimi Hijab, Ali Dawa, and the nurse Ali Dawa. All those kids, they, don't, they will never do it, dare to do that. I have my Skype is open. I'm desperately waiting for a Muslim to call me. Sometimes I feel like uh, somebody begging for food or something. I keep saying any Muslim. Even I was speaking about Jehovah's Witnesses and I say, any Muslim want to call me? Any Abdul? Somebody says, Nadir Ahmed, Nadir. This guy is a kid. Anyway, he can call me. Let him call me. Just to show you how, how stupid they are, those kids. If somebody says to you, I blocked him. I block people because they are kids and annoying. But he can just make a new account in two seconds and call me back. Can't he? <laughs> you are desperate for attention? Ah, okay. Uh, is that why I pray in the top of the car like a goat? In the corner in New York? Is that why I pray in the middle of the square where people, they are playing music? Who is the one seeking attention? It's you, Muslims. Any Abdul? I remember when I was a kid, there's a kid in my age, you know, in the school. So I, sometime he come to my house, I go to his house. And then in the winter, like now, his father, when he want to pray, he opened all the windows. He left all, you know, we have like, it's like, a, uh, like a wood blind, you know, they come on the top of the window. So he left them up, he opened the windows, and then he start praying. So everybody in the neighbors will see him praying. It's cold. It's freezing. I said to him, why your dad do that? It's cold. He said, he do that only when he pray. And then his dad, he sit in the couch. And he have little rocks in the front of him. He hold one and he start hitting his head with the rock. I said, what's wrong with your dad? Why you are doing that? He says, because people will think he is praying when he go outside. It will leave a mark in his forehead. What? This is the truth. The mark of the devil. Mark of the devil, my friend. Do you see this mark? All of them, they have it. Maybe you ask yourself why they have it. Did you ask yourself why? I will tell you why. Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> the religion of hypocrisy. They want to show that he is a person who bowed down in his head a lot praying to Allah. But the fact he have little rock, he make. And now they come with a new thing. They go to Thailand and they make a tattoo which nothing can wash it. 
and doesn't appear like a very light tattoo. So now he do not need to pray or to hit with the rock at all. It's just that tattoo is going to stay there forever, and he is a great believer. I remember when we leave the house of this kid, you know, we go and we drink. It's Ramadan, and we are kids. You know, we eat. His mom, she have nice cookies. We eat. He eat in my house too. So we go out, and then we go, before we go out, he says, "Wait, wait, wait." He says, "What?" He go to the kitchen. He grabs some. Uh, he he wet his uh, his uh, lips with his tongue, and he grabs some salt and he put it in his tongue. And I talk to him. He said, oh, no, no, "Which means don't talk to me." He cannot talk because the the the, the salt will fill down. And then I said, "Why are you doing that? Why you put salt like this?" He says, "Because I have to make them look dry." This is what my dad he taught us. So they eat, they dance, they drink in their houses in Ramadan. But when they go out, they put salt in their lips to make them dry. This is a religion of hypocrisy. But in the street, everybody is fasting. Alhamdulillah, I'm fasting, brother. Alhamdulillah. Even the prophet, he used to suck the tongue of Aisha when she is fasting. Ya Musuli Sani. He sucked my tongue. Brother, if you suck the tongue of your wife, is that breaking the fast? Hmm? Many people fast saying fake it. Okay, some fake it. Ah, okay. Let me ask you, did your prophet fake it too? Did your prophet fake it when he sucked the tongue of Aisha in the month of Ramadan? Hmm? <clears throat> huh? Looks like we cannot find it, the hadith here in English. Uh, we found this one. It's okay. The prophet SAWS used to kiss her and suck her tongue when he is fasting. Is sucking liquid out of your mouth? Is that a break in the fasting for you or not? Do you see it? So I thought fasting is uh, you are not allowed to suck any any uh, liquid. And why the prophet is sucking the tongue of Aisha when he is fasting? Is he fasting or having sex now? Hmm? And by the way, why this is even in the in the news? I mean, what kind of a woman she go in the street and she say, uh, imagine I am married and I, my wife, she go on life and say CP was sucking my tongue. Like what? A woman, she say that she must be a really a very bad woman. A decent woman, she will not tell what happened in the bedroom. Actually, Muhammad, he said that a decent woman, she will not tell what happened inside the bedroom to others. Hmm? Any Muslim? Any Abdul? Let me see if I can find the hadith in English. Hmm. Let us see this one. Here we go. Isn't it your prophet he forbid men and women to tell what happened in their bed? And he says that the one who do that, he will be punished by Allah. And then his wife, she is saying everything he do to her, including intercourse.
Anyone? I want to make your what? A ringtone? Make it ringtone, make it uh, whatever you want. It's okay. Aisha told about because it was Islamic matter. Guys, it's Islamic matter. <laughs> Let me show you Islamic matter, guys. Islamic matter is to tell somebody that you need to know that the Prophet, he used to suck the tongue of Aisha. This is Islamic matter. Well, can't Allah, he make a verse, says you can do this and this. So now Aisha is the Prophet, not Allah Prophet. You are telling me that Aisha, she is fixing something is not known in Islam and the Prophet, he forgot to tell. So Aisha is more credible to be a Prophet from the Prophet because the one who reported this, if you are telling me you are trying, you are learning about Allah and Islam from Aisha, that's when Muhammad, he did not do his job. Muhammad was busy sucking the tongue and Aisha, she was writing down, the Prophet, he sucked my tongue. Thank you very much for the hand. Right? What kind of situation? Muhammad, he killed people of Medina. He killed the people of Yathrib. He took his, they took their money. He killed the Jews. What? Constitution. Islam never have a constitution. Islam is a religion of today is yes, tomorrow is no. Since when we have, even the Quran says, look at this, just to show you the Joker Muhammad. وَمَا نَنْسَخُ مِنْ آيَةٍ أَوْ نُنْسِهَا نَأْتِي بِخَيْرٍ مِنْهَا أَوْ مِثْلِهَا Okay. What is that? Whatever verse we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, we bring better or similar like what what is the constitution so how you can have a constitution because tomorrow allah will cause you to forget it and allah will bring something better or similar hold on if it is going to be similar why you are making us forget the previous one anyone knows what is behind this let me show you the joker muhammad he says something in the morning he said the opposite afternoon. So the Arab, they said they were making fun of him. Look at this guy. He enjoy his followers and order. And he give them the opposite the second morning. Chapter 24, verse number 45. Sorry, chapter uh, 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 2, verse number 106. Let me see if I can open the interpretation for you so you can read. So even their interpretation confirmed that that the reason for the, this verse to come down, that the Arab, they were making fun of Muhammad. This guy in the morning, he says something. In the afternoon, he says something else. He changed his mind and he forbid it. Not only he changed it, he forbid it. Kamala want to call me? He can call me, no problem. If he's a Muslim, he can call me. Only Muslim, please, can call me. <clears throat> no problem. The Muslim I debate in Indonesia said, many marry as, as a son of Amran and the brother of Harun is the same as Jesus said, the son of David. Hmm. Okay, we will answer this one. Somebody saying that he was debating a Muslim in Indonesia, and when he asked him about Mary, she is the sister of Aaron. And he said, well, the same as when you say Jesus is the son of David, but Jesus is a son of David by birth. <laughs> Mary is not. Mary is not from the same tribe. Not only she is not, she is not even from the same tribe of Aaron or Moses. So there is no connection between them. Secondly, if you go to chapter number three, what the name of the chapter? 
آل عمران Do you see it? آل عمران Okay Is عمران the father of Musa in Islam? Yes So how عمران became the father of Mary? <laughs> so not only Mary is the sister of Aaron Mary is the sister of Aaron and she is the daughter of Umran and this is the same person who is the father of Moses do you understand my friend so obviously they cannot run away from a stupid mistake it's not only she is okay she is a sister of Aaron maybe he meant something as you said but she is the daughter of Amran and if you go in the Bible you will find that the father of Moses his name is Amram and the father of Mary his name is not Amram correct do you see it Yeah, but you see, this is the way to say this person is a son of the desert. No problem. But you see your, your Quran saying that Umran is the father of Mary. Yes or no? Is Umran the father of Mary, Mr. Uh, uh, proud Muslim? Either you say yes or you say no. Is Umran the father of Mary? The answer yes okay here we go we just approved that Muhammad is a fake prophet Amran is the father of Mary in the Quran and he is the father of Mary of Moses and he is the father of uh, Aaron and Muhammad he claimed that Jesus and Moses and Aaron and Maryam, they are from one family, which is a stupid. They are not. Chapter 3, verse number 35. When remember the wife of Amran, she said, Oh my Lord, have vowed to you the child that in my womb. Who is the wife of who? Amran. Who is Amran? The father of Moses. And who is this woman is talking? This is the mother of Mary. <laughs> so you cannot you cannot hide the stupidity. It's all over the place. Muhammad like a person who is doing his poo poo and he have a diarrhea and he have a very powerful fan behind him. And the diarrhea is all over the place. What mean different two different Amran? First of all, Amran is the wrong name of the father of Mary. Why the Christians and the Jews, they will be, they, even this name will change it. Show me one reference in the word saying that Mary, she have a father, his name is Amran. Who is Amran? Secondly, is it the verse saying, the Quran saying, that those are the three from the family of Amran? This is why the verse called the, 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 the family of Amran. But Moses is not. Moses and Mary, they are not from the same family. But look what happened. In the Bible, in the Torah, there's a verse saying that Harun or Aaron, he have a sister, her name is Mary, Maryam. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? So the, the silly Muhammad, he heard the Jews saying, Mary, the sister of Aaron, Mary, the sister of Aaron, Mary, the sister of Aaron. So the Muhammad, he got the conclusion that Mary, the mother of Jesus, must be the sister of Aaron. <laughs> Unbelievable. And when a Jewish guy, he came to Aisha and he said to her, but there's a mistake. Mary, she did not even live in the same time of Aaron. There is a couple of hundreds of years between them. Aisha, she said to the Kabul Ahbar, the guy who said that to her, she said to her, you lied, and the prophet, he told the truth. She did not say you got wrong understanding. She said to him, you're a liar. And then Muhammad come home, and she told him what this Jewish guy, he said. So Muhammad, he says, ah, in the old days, they used to call them by the great ancestor. 
<laughs> now, how you can explain that Mary, her father, is Amran? Anyone can explain to us how this happened? How such a mistake happened? How Amran, the same father of Moses and Aaron, became the father of Mary in the Quran? Anyone? No, there is explanation. Muhammad is a thief. Whatever the Jews he says, he take from them everything. You see, Muhammad, he and they, they start accusing him that you are copying from the Christians and the Jews. There's a verse in the Quran. Uh, where Muhammad he used to go and listen to people and they accuse him that uh, uh, you know uh, this guy obviously he is learning from those people look what Muhammad said and indeed we know that the polytheist uh, this is between two brackets this is not really exist in the Quran uh, say it is only a human being who teach him so the Arab, they knew he is learning from people. The tongue, and Allah now is answering, the tongue of the man they refer to is a foreign, while this, the Quran, is a clear Arabic tongue. So what they are talking about, there was two slaves, two slaves, and they are Assyrian. Or let us say Aramaic. They are coming from Iraq. And Muhammad, he sat with them, and he learned from them. And they notice how much he sat, and they speak about religion, and Muhammad, he li listen. Why Muhammad is a prophet of God, he need to listen to those guys. Those are two slaves, captured, and they are not anyone important, supposedly. Why Muhammad is listening to them? So they accuse him that he is learning from them. So look at the answer. He says, well, my Quran is in clear Arabic while well, those guys didn't speak with Arabic. They speak Arabic, but their Arabic is not like ours, the Arab, because they are slaves who they are captured from Iraq. So from the time of Muhammad, there was an accusation of him being a thief. And in different place, we find that Muhammad he try always to do things different from the Jews because everybody is laughing at him. He copied the Jews. Look what happened here. Muhammad was attending a funeral. The Messenger of Allah, S-A-W-S-F-F-M-O-O, -O, short wave, used to stand for a funeral. Entered the crops where was placed. Okay. A learned Jew. Do you see it says a learned Jew? In Arabic it says Hebron min al Yahud, Hebron min al Yahud, which means a big rabbi of the Jews. A big rabbi from the Jew walk by. And the big rabbi he said, This is how we do it. What? This is how we do it. What what, what he said? This is how we do it. And what Muhammad he said? Sit down, sit down, act differently. Sit down, sit down, act different. Look, what the heck? If, if Muhammad is a prophet of God, who cares if this is how they do it or not? Are you doing it according to your God or according to the Jews? But Muhammad, because he's a thief, he felt guilty immediately because, uh oh, the Jews get me busted. I'm doing as they do. So immediately, in the same second, he said, sit down, sit down, act differently. And the Muslim side behind him, sit down, sit down, act differently. And the guy next to the guy, he said to the other guy, sit down, sit down, because they, they, they have to spread the news. Sit down, sit down, act differently. Or what the Jew, he said, this is how we do it. And what Muhammad respond? Sit down, sit down, like, so you were praying before this moment, according to who? 
Who taught you how to pray in the funeral like this? This hadith was labeled as what? As what? As what? And no. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Uh, this hadith, brother, is uh, labeled as it is Hassan. If you do not know what Hassan mean, go sit down, sit down, and act differently. It is Hassan. And this is your fabrication grade because this is Sunan Abi Dawood, which is one of the Sahih books. The books of Sahih are six, and Abi Dawood is one of them. Any Abdul? And there is a great example about Muhammad trying to act differently. The story was a rumor. Guys, the story was a rumor. So if the story was a rumor, how the rumor became Hadith and Hassan, if it's a rumor? Do you see the narrator name? How a rumor, you have the narrator name. You see, when you say a rumor, it's mean you do not know who said that. Haddathana Hisham. Ibn Bahram, Al -Mad so I mean the fabrication of Muslim trying to to answer is amazing. You have all the names of those who recite that, and Ibn Abi Umayya, and Abihi, and Jiddihi, and Ubad ibn Samit. Qal kan Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So how this is a rumor? You have all the names of the narrators, and yet it's a rumor. Rumor is something we do not know who said that. This is why it's called rumor. But if we know the names of all those who say it and mention, that cannot be. What is the chain of narration? Here we go. You see, guys, the, the, the stupidity? What is the chain of narration? This is the chain of the narration in front of you. And it says, according to your scholars, not me, Hassan. So if it is a rumor, how it became with the grade of Hassan. Uh, let me ask you, Mr. Rumor. Do you like to call me, Mr. Uh, you sound like a nice guy. I like to talk to you. Mr. Walid, do you like to call me, my friend? Do you like to call me? Do you want to debate me in Arabic? You speak English. Why do you want to debate in Arabic? I want everybody here. We have 1,400 1, 1, at least people listening. That will be really great. If you are a person who claim you can debate me and you can stand for me, call me immediately. Do you like to debate me in Arabic? Well, you are here coming to speak in English form. And by the way, in Arabic for me, it's going to be more fantastic because I do not need to suffer from translation. However, I have an offer for you. You can say whatever you want to me twice, once in Arabic and once in English. Is that fair, guys? This will give you the pleasure, double pleasure. Call me immediately, my friend. Be the man. Let everybody see that Muslims, they can answer. Are you willing to do it? Are you willing to do it? You said you want to speak in Arabic. I said, no problem. All what you need to do, give me the answer twice. One in Arabic, one in English, no problem. And let everybody laugh. What your Skype ID? I only debate in classical Arabic, just let you know. My friend, here we have English people. So people, you see, you, you speak English very well. And I can tell your English is very fine. Correct, guys? So what, what this is excuse is about? Give me your ID, I will find you. Give me your Skype ID, I will find you. We are waiting for you, Mr. Walid. <clears throat> you are welcome. Invite your friends, we have Sheikh Walid, look like he's a Sheikh. Because those who say they can they debate in Arabic, usually they are Muslim Sheikh. So we have Sheikh Walid, 
He is going to debate me. Please invite your friends. Things will get exciting. And this is how we do it. All right, let us see if Walid he sent anything. No, nothing yet. I'm waiting for you, Mr. Walid. <clears throat> No, if you think Mr. Walid is afraid to call me, you are mistaken. He will call me and he is the man. You will see. No, he will not run away. I don't think so. Are you, can you confirm Mr. Walid, you are going to call? Can you confirm, my friend, that you are going to call? Don't make us wait for nothing. <clears throat> Hello? Give me your Skype. My friend, is, you will have a hard time to find my Skype because many people, they copy my name. Give us your Skype. I will call you. Post your Skype. My Skype is DB TV, but I'm telling you from now, you will have a hard time to find my Skype. Now give me your Skype. Post your ID and I will call you. And please be nice to our guest when he calls us. Be nice to him. You know, he's just a Muslim. It's not his fault. He is downloading the app. Okay, well, until he downloads the app, let us continue. All right. <laughs> So Muslim channel claiming the man in the speaker corner is you. Well, my friend, I don't live in England to go to speaker corner. And I don't do that. Anyway, they claim it's me, it's me. So is he is he good looking? I hope so. If he's good looking, it's me. If he's not, it's not me. Because for once in my lifetime, I want to look good. I think this is not even fair, but what I can do. So I don't know. It's up to you. Are you there, Walid? <clears throat> he is good looking? For sure, then this is me. Are you kidding me? Like, come on. What happened? Walid, why you are you taking you so long to post your, uh, your ID, my friend? It take you two seconds, post your ID for me, and I will give you a call. And I'm glad that you are a sheikh who debate Christians. That's exciting. <coughs> give you five minutes? Okay, I will give you five minutes. Let me make some coffee, guys. Uh, what do you need five minutes? I mean, don't make it five hours, please. Why why you need five minutes, Walid? You are going to ask for friends to come and help you? I invite everybody, brother. Everybody in the bushes. All the Muslims you know, let them six. Actually, you need help. You will need a lot of help. I need to make some coffee too. <clears throat> Should we end this broadcast and come back with a new broadcast? Just for Walid? What do you think, guys? I don't know. Ta -da -da. <sighs> Don't end.
Okay, I will not end. All right. Let me get some something to drink. Give me a second, guys. Ah, ah man, my my two knee hurt from sitting all this time. You see, when I sit in the behind the computer, like I, I don't know how to explain to you. I don't really relax. I'm so excited, and the excitement it make me, uh, you know, like it hurt. I need to uh, to do some running. I'm running right now in front of the microphone. <laughs> Getting ready for the match. <laughs> Guys, oh, I, I broke my toes. I will use it as an excuse not to debate Mr. Walid. Oh, oh, I broke my ankle. I cannot debate you now. Uh, in, in the Middle East, they say that somebody, uh, 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 he's a camel, and supposedly he have an excuse. He cannot walk because he have a pimple in his lip. <laughs> And I will not be surprised if Mr. Walid he do the same. He will say, I have a pimple in my foot, so I cannot debate you. Not in his lip. Just to avoid debating me. Let me make some coffee. I'll be back. Where's the coffee? All right, sorry guys. Am I heard? We are waiting for Mr. Wade to call us and I'm making some Greek coffee. Uh, I love a Greek coffee. We add cardamom with it. That will taste so good. No, I have a lot of cardamom with it. And actually, I make a very good coffee. Oh, boy.
Isn't it five minutes already for Mr. Walid? Isn't it already five minutes? Thank you, Ramona. Thank you. You know, once I was debating a sheikh, a Muslim sheikh, he says to me, I, he, I need to go. I said, okay, where are you going now? I mean, we are in the middle of the debate. Things are getting really hot. He said, it's, okay, I have to tell you, I have to go to the bathroom. And that was almost 12 years ago. Never come back until now. And I was expecting maybe he fell down in the hole or something happened or maybe because I saw a movie, a terror movie, like there's a legator, he come from the bathroom and he eat you. I don't know if you saw the movie because I could not explain how the guy since 12 years ago, he went to do poo poo and until now never come back. He just, just two minutes, like it, how fast? Let me check the coffee. <coughs> All right, the coffee is still in the processing. Are you there, Mr. Walid? Thank you, Rana, thank you. Guys, guys, we are always victorious, not because of a Christian prince. We are victorious because we are in the right side. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? But always before you go in a war with the devil, you should know first who is the devil and how he think. So learn and get ready because one day you will be part of this fight. The devil will come to you. He will not leave you alone. Let me check the coffee again. Oh, boy. the smell the smell of the coffee is beautiful. Thank you God for the gift uh, Yeah, you know, I feel sorry for the Muslims they think they have something to stand on But the second they start speaking to someone who knows very well They will find that what they are standing on is the sand All right <clears throat> Please why do convert to Islam change their name from Western ones to Arabic because Islam is an Arabic. It's a religion made by the Arab for the Arab So you notice that somebody who convert to Islam right away. He starts saying Arabic words He changed his name. He dressed like Arab. He act like Arab because Islam will strip you from your heritage There's a hadith where Muhammad he said the one who is proud about his heritage Tell him to go and bite the private part of his father All right. Let me see that coffee. I hear it. Perfect. I have a I turn off the the stove so the coffee will uh, uh, you know will boil slowly. Look what Muhammad he said about a man who is proud about his inheritance, like the heritage he have before Islam. He said to them, "The one who is proud about his inheritance, 
if someone cancel people in the way of the people cancel each in the days of Jahiriyyah. Jahiriyyah mean the ignorance, which is in the Arab time before Muhammad. Look what the Muslim translation is, which is false. And as long Mr. Walid, he will call me soon, I will make him. Uh, you gave me your Skype? Okay, where is your Skype? Can you post it again, please? Uh, Mr. Walid, can you post it again? Anyone saw the uh, the the post of uh, uh, Walid Skype? Guys, please no no need to call him coward. The guy is calling us. Please stop doing that. Uh, Walid, what is your Skype? I don't see it. Okay, this is your Skype. Well, I hope I will find this uh, name because uh, Skype ID is not a name. It should be like there's numbers, letters. Anyway, let us see if we can find you, my friend. All right, I found you. All right. Give me a second. I'll get my coffee and I will call you. All right, please invite your friends. We are going to call our friend here. His name is Walid. And supposedly he is speaking to me from Saudi Arabia, as I see in his Skype. That's fantastic. All right, Mr. Walid, I send you hi. Shalom, my friend, and I will call you. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Are you Christian? Oh, yes, I'm fine, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Uh, Christian Prince. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. You are live on air. Go ahead. Are you trying can to? You, make, uh, can, can you, uh, are you uh, trying to make me to hear the adhan? Is that the purpose of your call? Do you want to debate me? Hello. So, so all of this for a guy he is using the internet of the neighbor. Hello. Make us get excited. I made coffee. I send my four wives in vacation. Turn off, turn, turn to be what? The guy who don't even have an internet. He's in the internet of the neighbors. Are you there, Walid? He's gone. Okay, I would hang up, call him again. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Too bad. Well, we will give him a chance. Maybe he can fix it. Maybe he can find a better neighbor internet. No. Let us hope so.
the internet of the neighbor is very popular in the Middle East because nobody, I mean, they are very, very decent countries, you know. Uh. <clears throat> no, no, he's not a GG. No. Um, please translate all your books to Arabic so that we could gift to Arab friends. That would be funny, by the way, to translate my books into Arabic. I, I, I prefer to make them in Arabic. <laughs> because translating to Arabic is not really a solution. Uh, uh, writing the book in Arabic is way easier. You see, if I'm writing a book in Arabic, it's going to take me not even 10% of the time it takes me to write a book in English. Because English is not my first language. The text I'm reading is not in, uh, not in English. So I have to translate my words and the words which is in the books. And that will take a lot of time, grammar, mistakes, etc. So, Mr. Walid, are you there? Yeah, Abdul Mati. Let us call him again. This guy, he think he have knowledge of Islam. You will see. I hope. I hope. You know. I hope his uh, his microphone will work. You will see in two minutes that he have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah, not like he have a very bad internet. What we can do? We wait for him to call back. But didn't you know that your internet is bad when you said to me you want to challenge me? I don't know. It sounds fishy. It sounds really fishy. Because I'm assuming that you know what kind of internet you have. Hmm? Yeah, you, you have a da'if internet. Da'if. The internet is da'if. Allah is da'if. The prophet is da'if. The hadith is da'if. Everything is da'if in this cult. Even when they go with the war with Israel, they, they are daif. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, Nader Ahmed, he tried to debate me. Okay, if you have Nader Ahmed, let him call me now. Just for a, just for a laugh. <laughs> he tried. Oh, this guy, he admit that he's a prophet, have sex with that goat. What debate me about what? <laughs> this guy's a kid. He's a stupid. He's, he's a he's a madman. That's why I don't like to talk to people who they have a stupidity. Otherwise, he don't even know how to say his prophet name correctly. Like, why you don't bring me somebody is qualified to be to defend Islam? You Muslims, you are very funny. This guy don't even have high school. Not only in Islam, and even in a normal high school. So, from all the Muslims who have beard and blah blah blah, you get me just a kid. Who agreed that his a prophet have? He said, "So what's wrong is the prophet have? Isn't it better if the prophet have sex from somebody saying smash the head of the baby?" This is the best you have. Okay, bring him. Okay, let him call me, so we can laugh. No problem. Any Muslim, he have a microphone and he have a headset and he have internet from the neighbor. He can call me. What do you think? And nobody can track me. Don't worry about my IP address. This is not uh, my IP address. Is not my IP address. I'm using the net of the neighbor. <laughs> Just joking. Okay, I fixed my internet because I did not hear you. Okay, he fixed it now. I will call back in two minutes. Okay, that's good, guys. He fixed his internet. That's wonderful. Be patient. We have the army doing training in our town here. A lot of airplanes coming down, going up, going on. Make me feel excited. Anyone join? Anyone but wasn't the army before? Uh, 
<clears throat> okay, two minutes is over, my friend Walid. I'm waiting for long. Any anyone would like to help Mr. Walid, you can call us. He was in the army, Tyler. And I did join the army of ants once. And what happened at that time, I was with the army of the ants and Solomon, he came. And one of the ants, which was, as I remember, she was a surgeon. She said, hide, otherwise Solomon is going to crush you. Mm -hmm. You don't believe me? Here we go. And the value of the ants, by the way, is uh, <clears throat> you can find it in Google Map. Hmm? You can find it in Google Map. It's very, I mean, there's a, yeah, it's a true story. Till I was there at that moment. You see, they are, this is, I enter history by mistake. Till when they came to the value of the ants, one of the ants said, oh, ants. I like it when ants speak. So look, they say, oh, ants. They don't say ants. Oh, ants. You know, do you know the song that says, oh, mommy? Oh, mommy, mommy blue? Okay. Oh, ants, enter your dwelling last. Suleiman or Solomon and his host will crush you. That's amazing. That's so good. But as I know, ants don't talk, my friend. How she said? What do you mean she said? And Suleiman, he was amused with her speech, which means he heard the speech. But ants are deaf. Truth hurt when I call me. He can call me. Any Muslim would like to call, feel free, my friend. I'm here just to talk to you. No problem. You don't need permission. As long as you are a Muslim, as long as you are a Muslim, just call me. You do not need permission. doesn't matter who you are. Let us call Mr. Walid again. See if it's going to work. <coughs> Looks like it's working. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam, Mr. Walid. How are you? The Falik. Hello? Hello. Can you hear me? Sorry? Could you hear Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hope my internet is better. Yeah, it's better. You said that you debate people in Arabic. Is that right? Usually? Yeah. But do you speak Arabic? Classical Arabic. But do you speak Arabic? Classical Arabic. You, you speak classical Arabic? Hello? Yeah, you speak classical Arabic? It's my brain. I hear you. So do you Are speak... You there? I am here. Do you speak a classical Arabic, my friend? Here we go. <laughs> speak classical Arabic. <laughs> okay. Look like it's not working. <clears throat> Let us call him again. What we can do. We are desperate trying to find somebody to call us. That's what happened when you are homeless. Hmm. All right. Who is next? Who is a Muslim? He is willing to call us, please. He debate in a classical Arabic. I guarantee you, he don't know how, what to what to say anything. I mean, you will see. If he call me, I will say to him, debate me in a classical Arabic. I want to hear it. Yeah, my friend, truth heart. He wanna call me. Let him call me. What I can do? Okay, truth heart. Call me, truth heart. Go ahead. And what I can do more? You want to call me? Call me. Are you there, Mr. Truth Heart? Let me invite you like a long invitation. Maybe you like long. Truth Heart, you are welcome to call me. Truth Heart, don't hesitate to refute me. Truth Heart, call me before the end she come to me. 
truth heart Suleiman amused by your challenge to me okay I'm waiting I mean, what I can do more I made just a song just for him he enter history now Al Muhammad he will take it he will make a Quran so don't tell me again truth heart when I call me anyone 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 as a Muslim call me who is a Muslim wanna call me your bad sound what bad sound my voice is bad really now I know I apply to work as a singer they say to me no throat coat horrible many vitamin d3 500 x day no coffee not yeah I know my friend said the coffee I'm dr I drank too much coffee I'm working in a book so it, it uh, you know because I'm staying for many hours writing don't worry about my what, guys what, what's the problem so if my voice is not good you will not like it now are you here because of my voice or because of what I say yeah I will punish you all I will sing all my life I wanted to be a singer uh, <clears throat> uh, oh, hold on you see it? I'm not lucky I wanted to sing here we go hello Christian Prince. Yes, Mr. Wade. Go ahead, please. Go ahead in the talk. Khalak. My friend, Khalak. there is nothing in Arabic. It's called Kif Khalak. Khalak in Arabic means your uncle. So when you say Kif Khalak, you are, you're just asking me, how is your uncle? Oh, boy. They lost it. Kif Khalak. He's asking me Kif Khalak. Khalak in Arabic means how is your uncle? He's fine, by the way. Which one? There's like 40 of them. And he want to debate me in Arabic. And he says to me, Kif Khalak. Oh boy. That reminds me of uh, <clears throat> Elijah. I mean, God is with us. Yeah, 40. Why, why you are surprised my grandfather you know uh, one in one but this is a long time ago in, in we have one lunch we have 96 male 96 male just male over the age of uh, of 18 and they are just from one grandfather over the age of 18 we are not counting boys little children's or girls no just male who they are grandsons of one grandfather 96 only only yeah so anyway any Muslim want to call us yeah we can by, by, by now they pass already they passed the 200 I guess but this is all the news I mean I was at that time we count them you know, I was a kid too. I was like, you know. <clears throat> so any Muslim would like to call us? Yeah, this is why when people, they invite me to come, I say, can I come with my cousins? They have no idea what they are talking about. So they say, yes, sure, sure. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So where is the Muslims who want to call us? Anyway, so as long as there's no Muslims to call us, sadly, what we can do. But as you see, Islam is a very silly, stupid cult. All what you need to know is just to study it very well and you will find that this is just nothing but a collection of fairy tale stories how in the world anyone who believe in God when I believe in such a story that there's a guy his name is Suleiman and he have an army of a chicken and genie and mankind and if you don't believe me the Quran says that chapter 27 verse number 17 I mean this is God speaking about his prophet Solomon. 
or this is Muhammad copying the Jews legions which they used to tell their kids about Solomon Muhammad the thief he copied what the Jews they tell to their children about the great King Solomon the great King David you know and there's tons of fiction stories there's a book it's called the legions of the Jews you can go and search it in the internet and you will find that this story is exist there and this is where Muhammad he got his story from I will give you another, another example about Muhammad the thief. If you remember Muhammad, he spoke about the punishment of the grave. Look at this, Muhammad saying, and this is Sahih, that the cause of the punishment of the grave is the urine, the urine. What is the urine? Where Muhammad is getting this? He got it from the Jews. The Jews, they are very clean people. And in order to make somebody, especially the kids, to clean themselves, not to, like when they pee, they don't, you know, the pee should not touch their skin. They say to them, uh, you will be punished in the grave if you do that. And the guy he said, Mom, okay, I will not do that. So Muhammad he heard the Jews saying that. And Muhammad he copied it as it is, as usual. And I will show you the proof of that that Muhammad is nothing but a thief. Uh let us see. Okay. Uh, where where Aisha and the Jewish women they fight about it. There's a hadith. Here we go. And this is a Sahih hadith too. A Jewish woman entered into me, Aisha's talking, which means to her house, and said, the torment of the grave is because of urine. Because of what? Because of urine. I said, you are lying. Aisha, she is smarter than this. So she don't believe in that. So she said, no, it's true. The Jewish woman, she said, no, it's true. We cut our skin and the clothes because of it. The messenger of Allah went out, which means from his room, and uh, to pray. And he heard our voices become loud. So he said, what is this? What's happening? So I told him that she, what she had said, that's the punishment of the grave, most of it is from the urine. He said, she spoke the truth. Oops. Muhammad, he took the side of the Jewish woman. She spoke the truth. And look what Aisha, she said, exposing the liar Muhammad. And she said, Aisha, after that day, he never offered any prayer, but he said following the prayer Rabba Jibreel wa Mikail wa Israfil adding saying protect us from the punishment of the grave do you see it so Muhammad never never mentioned the punishment of the grave before never ever since he heard the Jew saying that to Aisha he never offer a prayer unless he add I seek refuge by Allah from the punishment of the grave. Uh, Muhammad Ayyub Ahad, he's saying a free Palestine. Okay, my friend, this guy, he hate Allah. Because according to the Quran, it says that Allah is the one who gave Palestine to the Jews. Let me get you busted. No, don't, don't block him. He's a poor guy. Here we go. According to your God, Allah he assigned the land which is called Palestine to the Jews. So are you striking against Allah or against Israel brother? Because the one who strike against Israel he is striking against Allah and the proof in the front of you. Do you see it? Shall I say takbir or you say takbir? Say takbir. You take a beer I take coffee. 
Why Allah he gave the land to the Jews? He never even mentioned the word Palestine, brother. And look in the translation they put between two brackets, Palestine. Oh my people. <coughs> Hello? Salam alaikum. Hey, what are you, are you going to uh, talk? I see flat to kill him for Ah, you don't, uh, you, you don't, you don't speak Fussa, Fussa Arabi? You don't speak Fussa Arabi. Do you know what Fussa mean? Fussa is the grass they give to the goat. So he don't speak Fussa Arabi. And the funny, he was challenging me to debate in Arabic. <laughs> I don't speak Fussa Arabi. Oh boy. You don't speak Fussa? Do you speak Hussa? Shrayak Tahki in Tefusa, when I Haki Hussa? Ukulwa had a phosphorus ala kifa? Phosphorus li when a phosphorus lak? She knew how that. And he speak Arabic. He want to debate me. Like when you hear this, I thought this guy is a big sheikh. He want to debate me in Arabic. He must be a big sheikh. And, and by the way, he have a beard in his picture. Oh boy. ايه التخلف ده انت بتشتم التخلف يلا <تصفيق> طب حوريك لو كان ما فيش تخلف حنعمل ايه حنتفرج على ايه حنضحك على ايه يا راجل يا راجل ارحم anyone any muslim would like to call us Any Muslim? Have you accent? Have you accent? Wherever I go, they say to me, "Where are you from?" I don't tell them just for their for their safety. <laughs> Because the second I say where I'm from, everybody want to leave the chair next to me in the airplane. Nobody want to sit next to me. Actually, it's useful. You will have the seat by yourself. Anyone? Thank you, Light. I'm just joking with you, my friend. The only teacher we have is the Messiah, our Lord, and no one else. Here we share what we learn, and all wisdom it come come from his mouth. Otherwise, we have no wisdom. The man speaks foolishness. If we don't have a guideline where we can find wisdom and where we can get our wisdom, we will never get. This is why the Lord, he says, read the books. You see, the Lord, he wants us not to be ignorant. Ignorance is our enemy. It's not the Muslims. The enemy of all mankind is ignorance. Muslims, their enemy number one is their ignorance. They think that this is God. They think Allah is God and Muhammad. Read, read and love. This is God. This is God. God, he believed that there is an army given to Suleiman and there is a bird, a chicken. Pop, 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 pop. Why Suleiman, he needed an army of birds? Why, why Muhammad did not have this army? He needed, he's doing jihad. Give him an army of birds. This guy, are you serious? This guy is saying to me, call me when you are back. <laughs> As if I am the one who left. <laughs> call me when you are back. <laughs> what are you talking about? It is you who hang up. Okay. Uh, it says missed, missed call. Okay. okay. Hello? Yala. Yala. Yes, my friend, you keep hanging up. I'm not the one who did not call you. I mean, here we go. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? My internet was very bad. Okay, what I can I'm do, you, my friend, did you say inshallah before you call me? You should say inshallah because if you don't say inshallah, there's a there's a prophet who had want to have sex with 99 women, but he forgot to have to say inshallah. So Allah, he mm. gave him a half a child. Do you know the story? Yes. Okay, why is that? Why Allah, he uh -oh. gave him nine, nine, uh, he gave him half a child. He forgot to say, um, 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 Solomon, Solomon. Mm -hmm. 
على 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 الحديث ضعيف ضعيف it's ضعيف but this is a story in the Quran my friend لا اه شوف شو نشوف don't you listen here we go it says in chapter 38 verse number 23 that my brother he have 99 goats uh al quran yes in the quran uh show me show you i'm showing you here we go i said just told you <laughs> chapter 38 verse number 23. okay hmm. chapter <clears throat> chapter 32 38 verse number 23. okay hmm. opening now all right that's wonderful uh, internet uh, very bad very bad very, very bad, bad. Mm -hmm. yeah okay um uh, you you speak uh, arabic no i speak german oh uh, uh, you said you said you you are arab my friend answer i just gave you a question what does have to do uh, yes i'm an arab yes uh, so how come uh, you don't speak uh, Arabic? Hey, well, I was, uh, you know, uh, I was in the like plane with the kids and somebody hit me in my head. Like what happened to your prophet? He lost his four teeth in the front. So I lost my front teeth and I lost my memory. Now, what about you? Do you speak Arabic? Shwaya. Uh, Shwaya. So why you say to me, you want to debate me in Arabic if you don't speak Arabic? Um, um, I speak um, classical Arabic. Uh, very good. Uh, okay, now. What do you say about what we see in the front of us that this prophet he's saying he is calling his wives as goats and he want to have sex with all of them so they will have children and he will do jihad i'm read uh, i'm reading uh, verse 48 to 23 uh, read correct? verse yeah read verse okay uh, yeah. huh. it, uh indeed uh, this my brother has 99 wheels and i have one wheel so he said and trust mm. what has this to do what i'm asking you this 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 this, this, this not relevant this is not relevant. Why, not relevant why not relevant you said to me that this hadith is weak but this is uh, this as i know this is not weak this is quran first of all chapter 48 verse 23 uh-huh is that a, 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 you said to me this is weak where are you where, who told you that this is weak but what is this the, indeed this my brother has 90 okay women. so he this guy he want to have sex with 99 women 100 women less one and he want to make them have babies so he can do jihad and here we go this is the hadith this is a daif hadith what do you think it's daif hadith what do you think it says that the son Solomon's sons the prophet the, the, or the prophet david said Tonight I will go around and I will have boom boom with 100 women of my wives every one of them whom will deliver a male child So I will do jihad for the <coughs> cause of Allah But he forgot to say he will get says and on that the angel said to him say if Allah will But Solomon yeah, yeah. did not say yeah. if it is he did not say it not. So Allah he gave him half a child explain to me the story. This is the Eve hadith uh, it's not Habibi. Hmm. Uh, What Habibi? the word uh darling uh, the, the the word there for wives is nahaja nahaja mean nahaja mean goat yes but it not mean it, it doesn't mean wives mm. in Arabic. so you are well, saying that Solomon he was having sex with goats it, that means uh, you. It doesn't mean uh, the the word for uh, wife is. Uh, Listen. So are you saying that Solomon was having sex with goats, not with wives? Because you say this is not wives, but in Arabic it says naja. Naja mean goats. So are you saying that he was having sex with goats? My friend, it, it, it is a language of Arabic that you don't understand. Uh, at that time, they called their wife a goat. How many goat do you have at home? No, wait. It, it doesn't uh, it say um, that he had sex. Uh -huh. uh, it okay. says he entrusted her. Look. Uh, listen, listen. Okay, this is, uh, uh, let me show you the hadith, my friend. 
the hadith said the hadith the hadith okay the hadith let me show you here the hadith it said that he said i'm going to have sexual intercourse with them read with me carefully do you see my screen no okay it says the prophet said the son of the prophet I david said no I problem i'm reading for you listen i'm reading so he said Wait. tonight i will go around i.e have boom boom sexual intercourse with 100 women of my wives every one of whom will deliver a male child the angel said to him say inshallah if allah will but Solomon did not say that he forgot to say it then when he had boom boom sexual intercourse with his wives none of them deliver any child except one she gave him a half person what does that mean mm. go ahead well uh, you, you got to look at uh, the, the the narration and what is that what does that mean this is this is this is daif hadith this is daif I'm, I'm not saying that uh, no you said that already uh, you told me it's daif you forgot you have a short memory my friend hit your head again you said to me this is because, daif because the chain of the okay, uh, so narrator so this is daif this is daif yes or no uh yes okay but this is sahil bukhari oh, you can say that but uh, you have to prove <laughs> Sahil Bukhari is daif now? Sahil Bukhari is daif. I don't, I don't uh, see uh, your screen. Uh, here we go. I will give you the link. No problem. This is Sahil Bukhari. I, internet is hadith high. number. No problem. Sahil Bukhari. Hadith number 5242. I'm calling you from uh, my phone. Uh, not I from, don't care. Uh, no problem. I will give you the link. Here we go. I will give you the link. No problem. Okay. Don't okay. forget Let to me... say inshallah before you open it because it's not going to open if you don't say inshallah. Uh, you Look are what happened to Suleiman? He have sex with ninety nine women, and then Allah deliver him half a child. What does that mean, half child? Do you know what half child mean? Yeah. What does that mean, half child? Uh, uh, pre, uh, pre, pre premature. Premature. So is Allah punishing uh -huh. Suleiman, giving him half a child? No, no premature. The, read the Arabic. Do you understand Arabic? Yeah. Okay. Open the link. I gave you the link in Arabic and read it for us. Let us see if you read Arabic. Go ahead. Let me go. Hmm. I did not receive anything. No, I gave you a link, my friend. Don't tell me you did not. Click at the chat. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> what, 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 what? 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 I say again? What? What? What say again? What what is the first word? Um, hadathani. Hadathani. <laughs> what is that? Let me read it for you. Okay, I will help you. No problem. You don't know Arabic. Don't lie next time. Say you speak Arabic. Hadathani Mahmud. Hadathana Abdul Razaki. Akhbarana Muammar. An Ibn Tawus. Do you know Ibn Tawus? Tawus is your yeah, cousin. Yeah, Tawus exactly. Are what you not Tawus? Ah, Ibn Tawus is your cousin. What Tawus mean? Tell me, you came to speak Arabic. Well, Tawus is a bird, have many colors in his wings. Are you serious? I'm very serious. Go, go, go to the Arabic dictionary. Here we go. I will just search in Google and you will see that the word Tawus will show you the bird. Here we go. You see it? Okay. This is ah, Tawus. Let's open your channel. I don't see it. This is the Tawus. Let me try. Uh... Are you Give serious? me one second. I'm opening your uh, YouTube channel. Ah, okay. One second. Uh -huh. uh, you know, internet here uh, yeah, very I mean, bad. I understand. The internet is very bad. Islam is daif. Now, uh, is daif. Quran is daif. Internet is daif. Anything the Muslim touch is daif. Hmm? Yeah, Israel uh, is strong. Uh, okay. Okay, I see. Now I see. I see bird. Hmm. This is the bird. Uh, this is Taos. You said to me, are you serious? Uh, you my friend, copy the word, put it in dictionary. Let's everybody see what the word means. Okay, here we go. So I will copy the word, I will put it for you in dictionary. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. In front of my eyes. In the front of your eyes, no problem. Here we go, just wait, hold on. Let me open the dictionary side. Mm -hmm. All right. Internet is very bad here. The internet is very bad, for sure very bad. 
very hot in all side. Okay, here we go. This is the this is the this is the dictionary. And I will put the word Taos. Mm -hmm. It's a name of a bird. Here we go. Do you see it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah. What? What? It, it means. Uh, yes, but you know, Arabic uh, it can mean many different things. It can mean many different things. Uh huh. You know, my friend, I want to learn. Our, okay, what is the other meaning for the word Taos? I'm listening. Uh, we, we use the ta Taos for, you know, for many different birds. Not okay, give me, give me, no, give me what other meaning for Taos. We showed you that Taos is the name of a bird. Now, what is it that? Can also, huh? It can also mean uh, hills. Hills? You no know, hills. Hills yeah. mean Taos? No, 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 no. Hills for women. You know, women when uh, they were uh, hills. Really, man. Yes. <laughs> My friend, aren't you the one who says to me, "Show me dictionary"? Yes, that would mean. Okay, me. well, this is the dictionary. The dictionary says this is what it means. Read, read carefully. Hmm? This is what dictionary is saying, and not me. Internet is very bad. Ah, okay. My friend, let's let's go to the topic. So, Suleiman, obviously, you don't you do not know what are you talking about. So, Suleiman, Suleiman, he wanted to have sex with 99 women who the Quran described them as goats. And then he forgot to say the word, inshallah. And then Allah, he gave him a half a child. Why this has happened to Suleiman? Well, because he forgot to say, inshallah. Well, uh, Christian men, all men, the Hindus, the Buddhas, they don't say Allah at all when they have sex, and they don't say Allah at all unless they want to laugh at something comedy. So how come yes. they have a full child, but the one who is a prophet of Allah, he forgot to say, inshallah, Allah gave him a half a child. Because he was um, ignorant. You know? ah, he was ignorant. So are you saying because you are ignorant, Allah will punish your son, he will make him a half son? What is the fault of this little baby? You did nothing wrong. Allah is yeah, punishing yeah. Suleiman or punishing the baby now? You know, because uh, you, you have to obey him. If you don't obey him, you know, there's so obey him what? So if I don't obey Allah, Allah will make you have a half son? Not not half. The word there hmm. is premature. What, what premature, is premature? Yeah. Where? It says here in Arabic, Arabic, it says nusfu insan. It doesn't say premature. Nusfu. Not the word nusf in Arabic mean half. Yeah, premature, but it no, it says nusf. Premature. It doesn't say premature. It says nusf, half a human. This is what yeah. nusf mean. Nusf mean half. Now, let us say it's a premature, as you said. Okay, I don't say inshallah at all. I am against okay. the will of Allah, and there's millions and hundreds of millions of people like me, but they have, you know, I'm not married, so I cannot speak about myself, but they have kids. And their kids is not half a child, as the as as the story tells. Actually, you're a prophet father himself. He was not a Muslim, correct? Yeah. Okay. So how Muhammad is not a half a human being? The father of Muhammad, he was not a Muslim. He did not say, inshallah. So Muhammad was a half man and half donkey or one a full human? Uh, I want to ask you something. Ask me something. But why you don't answer about this before you ask me something? You can ask me a lot of something. I will answer. I will answer you one huh. second. Uh, you said uh, in many of your videos about uh, we will, the world, we, we Don't change the topic. Answer me about this something, and then you can ask me about the other something. No, no, no. We go back. We go back to. No problem. You can go this. back later. We want, why want to go back if you can tell me right now? Tell me, Muhammad father. He did not say inshallah before he have sex with his mother. So why Muhammad how is not you, half a human? You know? Huh? How do you know? Because Muhammad, he says his his father will go to hell. He is not a believer. Where? Where? Is this? Uh, is I, this saw uh, your I saw claim? it in the I saw it in the magazine. Is this your claim or my claim? Yeah. What do you think? Why would my claim? Well, your claim is your claim. It doesn't mean that is the truth. Okay, but if, what if I approve it? You cannot. I cannot. Are you sure? Well, let's see. No, I'm saying, what if I claim it? What what will happen? 
you have to show it to me from a uh, if, if you show to me from Sahih uh, source, you mm. shut me up. If you show me from Sahih source, if you show me from Daif or Hassan, mm. you know, not acceptable. Mm. Okay, oh, here we go. The hate in front of us. What you will what you will say? You are sending to me on Skype. I don't see your channel. Give me two seconds. I'll open it. Is the, channel, the problem but is Daif. Well, the problem is Daif. What we will do now is Daif. It says, A man asks, Where is my father? Messenger of Allah said, Your father uh -huh. in hell. When he turned his back, he said, The Prophet, My father and your father in hell. But is Daif, what he can do now? Do you think this is rejected now? Of course. Okay, of course, but, it is, Daif, but, but of course, but it is Sahih. But it is Sahih. What we will do now? Where, where does it say Sahih? It says Sahih there. Where? It says there. I don't Send it to me on Skype. Okay, I will send it to you on Skype. I can go back to the to other topic. Yeah, we are in the topic. So you said to me, the prophet, oh, no, no, no. this is the topic. I mean, either, no, either you agree, either you agree that the story you are yeah. giving me is a stupid, or you agree it's, that it's, this Muhammad is a, is a liar. Al Albani. Is it Sahih or not? It's Al Albani. What Alabani? This is first of all, this is Sunan Abi Dawood. The whole book is authentic. It is authentic book. The books of Sahih are six. And this is your Muslim website. And the grade of it, who said, who it is Sahih. Who said who said it's Sahih? I said that because I learned that from universities. Do you have an Islamic degree? No, no. I do. So the books of Sahih are six, and one of them is Sunan Abi Dawood. No. I know, I know. Okay. No, you do not know. Don't tell me you know. You know nothing. Now answer. So you're a prophet father. He's, he's in hell because he's not a believer. So he did not say, inshallah. Now we go back to zero. So why Suleiman? <laughs> because he did not have, did not say, inshallah. Allah, he gave him half a child. What happened? Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> it says, a man is to, what is my father? But this is not the prophet talking. No, the prophet talking. But the man asked. To... Hey, the man he asked the prophet, and the man he got, he's gone. So Muhammad he says to him because yeah, he, he gets upset. Is... Oh my God, the dab. L listen. Huh? He says, uh, just read, read English, okay? Read. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A man asked uh -huh. a man, yes, uh -huh. where is my father, uh -huh. messenger of Allah? Okay. So a man asked the messenger. Uh -huh. And the messenger said, "Your mm. father is in hell." So mm. he's not talking about his father; he's talking about the father of the man. Mm. But he said, "You understand now? my father and your father." <clears throat> yeah, but those are the translators putting it there. It's not in a, ah, um, the translators. Uh -huh. mm. You are playing games. Okay, I'm playing games. Okay, let us see. What about this hadith? <clears throat> let me try open YouTube. One second. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. What about this hadith here? Good, good. I'm opening YouTube right now. Okay. Because open. I don't trust you. Or no, don't trust me. I don't trust myself, my brother. I ate too much uh, falafel. Falafel, yeah. Mm. Hummus. Yeah. Now, answer. Does it say that your prophet is the one who says, Verily, my father and your father in hellfire? Yes. Yes. So why are you lying to me? I was wrong. I was wrong, okay? Oh, you was wrong. Um, okay. Anas, okay. All right. Now, so we go back to zero. Let me ask you. So let your me prophet, ask you. your prophet, his father no, 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 no. did not say, Inshallah, obviously, before he do boom, Listen. boom. So now, Listen. why Suleiman, his children became half a children when Suleiman is a believer and he want to even do jihad, he want to have kids so he can do kill Christians and Jews. So why Allah is giving him half a child just because he forgot to say inshallah, but you're a prophet father, he did not say inshallah at all, yet he gave him uh, half Muhammad. <coughs> Let me ask you a question, okay? I answered the question now. You ask me, me you answer me nothing um, um, until now. I'm waiting for the first question. Why? This is the question. Why Allah did that to Suleiman? Did not do that to Muhammad? Let, let, let me ask you a question, okay? Okay. You uh, so you want to? So just say it. I, I have no answer. Say, just say it. 
Say it, and I'll no, make no, you ask I, me the question. No, 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 I have an answer. An answer, I mean, then don't, don't, don't change topic. If you say I don't have an answer, I give up. Okay, no problem. Otherwise, answer, yeah, and you can ask me the question. I will, I will explain to you. I will explain to no, you. No, answer the question. 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 Don't explain. I don't want explanation. I want an answer. So why this is happening to Suleiman? He forgot to say, inshallah. But there's millions of people don't say, inshallah, at all, including the father of Muhammad, and nothing happened to them. Go ahead. I don't know. To be honest, I think the Thank you. Finally, he said, I don't know. Now hit me with the question you have. So he do not know, guys. The guy who claimed he know, he know nothing. Okay. Thank you for being honest, at least. So now, what is no, your no. question? I said, I said, I said, I don't know who put the story there. You know, what do you mean, who put the story there? Are you, are you telling me are you was? Are you going to say to me I wasn't there? Are you saying to me you wasn't there? Well, you are a prophet. Is the one who said the story, and this is authentic. The story, the story looks uh, fabricated. Ah, but I showed you Quran. Okay, explain to me the Quran. No, 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 it no, says, no. okay, show, explain to me the Quran, no. chapter thirty-eight, no. verse number twenty-three. It says that this is my brother. He have 99 goats. Explain to me this verse. Who is the one is talking and who are they the goats? Here we go. This is Quran. Let me ask you something. No, don't ask me for something. Because I said to you, in order to ask me something, you have to admit that you are an ignorant. You have no answer. You, you see, you play the game that the hadith is weak and it's not. We showed you it is sahih. Now we are showing you Quran. So chapter 38, verse number 23, it says, my brother, he have 99 wives. I explained to you already. They are I goats. Explained. Huh? I, I explained already what the, word, uh -huh. the word for goat there. Uh -huh. Okay, but what this story is about? Who is talking and what 99, what we talking about? What is what is about? Explain to me what is behind the story. I told you the word, the word for wife mm -hmm. is uh, in Arabic. Mm -hmm. We say zawaj. Uh, Mm. It is not, uh, you know, there. Uh -huh. Do you see the word Zawash there? Uh -huh. I don't see the word Zawash. Mm. And well, what, what, yeah, is the an what is the answer? I'm asking you for the answer now. What this is behind? What is behind this story here? Do you see the word Zawash there? What Zawash? No, it's not. Yeah, there. Yeah. No. So, so. Okay. So you tell me. I'm asking you. You yeah. don't tell me. So, so, so. You tell me. What is the meaning? Tell me the story. Go ahead. I don't, I don't know the story to be honest. Uh, so what, what you are, so so admit that you do not know. Just say it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, you do not know. Now, uh, so guys, finally he admit that he's ignorant. Now, give me your question. Go ahead. Uh, so you in many of your videos you say uh, the word uh, Allah means uh, moon god. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, you say the word Al means uh, uh, in English uh, the. Hmm. Correct. In Arabic, not in English. Oh yes, in Arabic. Okay. Yeah. Um, it means the. No. Okay. It, it, ha my it have two meaning. No, the word al it has two meaning, which is. I know. I know. Don't teach me Arabic. I know Arabic better. No, you don't speak okay. Arabic. Okay, speak to me Arabic. Go ahead. You speak classic um, Arabic. I speak any any Arabic you wish in the world. Go ahead. Speak to me in Arabic. You don't speak. Speak to me classic Arabic. Speak Arabic. to me in Arabic. Any it's just speak to me Arabic. Go ahead. Prove to me your point in Arabic. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, you don't know Arabic. Okay, so the word else. No, no, no. Al speak to me in Arabic. Give me the answer in Arabic. You Just to show everybody Arabic. that you are a liar, you don't speak Arabic. Go ahead. Don't Give me the embarrass. answer in Arabic don't first and then say it in English. Go ahead. Uh, don't embarrass yourself in front of me, okay? Give yes, me sir. the answer in Arabic. Don't embarrass yourself, my friend. Give me the answer in Arabic. You know, the, in Arabic, okay, let me, let me explain, let me explain. No, no, don't give me the, you said you don't, speak Arabic. Don't. I said, don't embrace yourself in Arabic. Let's see who's going to be embraced. Give me the answer in Arabic, go ahead. You don't speak classical Arabic. Even give me the Arabic. answer in Arabic. You don't speak classical Arabic. My friend, you are, you are, people will see in a second. Okay, go okay, ahead, go. let's see who speak, who don't start. speak. Go ahead, speak to me in the start. classical Arabic. Go ahead, give me the answer in the classical start. Arabic. You start, you claim you speak classical Arabic, you speak to me. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting. What do you mean speak? Okay. هذا المتحدث معي حمار ابن حمار وفي رأسه رسن. Here we go. I spoke to you in Arabic, and now I want you to what prove is, me wrong. What is this? What is this, my friend? Is this is this classical Arabic? Yes. Translate what I said. Can you can you translate what I said? Oh my God! This classical Arabic. Yes. This is okay. I will, I will give you. Okay, hold on, guys. This guy, this guy, yes. he don't, he don't, he don't agree that the, I said uh, classical Arabic. Okay, I will this say to you. Okay, oh. I will say to you. Let's, 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 hold, on, ask, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, well, that your daughter, Is that a classical Arabic or not? 
that uh, to try 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 not to fart try not to fart oh, you said this is for this is quran you eat it i was reading quran for you this is quran Here we go. this is the chapter two verse number two three three i was reading quran for you and you said try not to fart Let's everybody you heard you you're scared see you're scared everybody heard you i was reading quran in the classical arabic and you said to me don't fart my friend you, you're not Arab. listen let me, <laughs> let, let, let me let me ask you my question just, okay don't be scared just okay get, just don't get, be scared. get lost get lost we spanked you as as enough you don't speak arabic eh? an, an indonesian guy is telling me to me you don't speak arabic <laughs> why you hang up to my face because you are stupid okay are you going to speak to me in arabic or not i challenge you to speak to me in arabic why go you ahead. hang up to my face speak in arabic otherwise don't waste my time i want to speak to you in arabic only oh, classical no, language speak. go ahead i don't hear you for somebody S listen oh. what why are you hang up what? don't go don't go <laughs> Speak to me. Give me the answer in Arabic, please. Can you still be scared? Give me the answer in Arabic. You claim that you speak Arabic. You are a liar. You don't speak Arabic. And you accuse me that I am reading Quran and you call it fart. Shame on you. You called the Quran fart. How dare you? How dare you? I was reading the Quran. I was reading the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 2. Don't tell me your friend. I'm asking you, did I read the Quran for you and you said stop farting? I was reading the Quran for you, chapter two, verse number two, three, three. So why you said stop farting? You, I was referring to the um, things you said before. Ah, to... no, you said the word farting after I did read this. Listen, hmm. let me ask you something. Ask, me, ask me something. something. Okay, so, okay, ask so, so me the something. word you said, you said the word. Don't be scared. <laughs> let me ask my question, okay? Okay. Because you said you cannot defeat me. You said the word um, Allah means Al means the and Allah uh, is the name of the moon god, correct? Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. If my name is uh, Theodore, does that mean that my name is uh, Od Odor? Mm, you understand me? You are very smart. Hey, Abdul, I'll type. Okay, you said you speak Arabic, right? Can you read for me this word in the in the in the in the screen? I don't see. I don't. See, I don't. So okay. if my name read is read for me, read name. for me. Hold on, read for me. The second word, the second name of Allah in the Quran. The second name. The second oh, time. Man. The second time the word Allah mentioned in the Quran, verse number two in chapter number one. And verse number one, chapter number one. What the difference between them? What the difference between them? Uh, the alif, the alif. Uh, okay, why the alif is missing? Oh my God! You want? Okay, let me teach you Arabic. Okay. Okay, teach me Arabic. In in Arabic language for grammar, mm. the word al mm. means the. Okay, the. it is. Okay. Uh, it's, yeah, so guys, it's, the word al means that. So thank you very much. So the word that, let us type it there yes. so you don't change your mind later. So if we oh, say here, oh. the, so the first word Allah, when you say in the name of Allah, you are saying the, la. Mm. The, la. Thank you. Listen, you look, you look, just look, to prove look, my point. Look, look. So Allah, your God name is not Allah. Your God name is la. Yo, see, 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 look, <laughs> look in the chat, look in the chat, everybody, look, my, if, friend, if my name is, I, I want to answer, no, this is, a, this is, this is a name of God, what Theodore, what Theodore, are you stupid or what, this is Arabic, and now I want you to answer, you just admitted that the, the first two letters in the, in the name of your look God, you just admitted, everybody look. heard you, that the first the two chat. letters, the first two letters in the name of your God, according to you, is the, you said that, not me, the, no, la, so what's the name of your God? We don't understand. We don't no, understand. You said that, not me. I'm just going with you. I'm just going with you. You are the one who said to me, do you know what the first two letters? You said, yes, the first is that. that. This is the, the, I said to you, why in, in the Allah, in the second verse, disappeared the Aleph? I said, what's the difference between them? You said to me, the Aleph. Okay, I said, so why? He said, because the first two letters in the first one is that, equal to that. So the name of your God is La, and what is La? We can search right now in Google. We'll find that La is the Moon God. 
Si, 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 how stupid you are, si. Sí. Well, I am, if I am stupid, you teach me, isn't you who says to me, the name of your God is you're, the Allah? You're not, you're not letting me talk, you're not letting me talk. <laughs> you're not letting me talk. The second one, okay, in the second one, why the Aleph disappear? What we have, it says, Li Lah, do you agree with that? Alhamdulillah, do you agree with that? Are, are you letting me talk or? I'm asking, yes, you are, you are talking, I'm asking to you. Number two, Allah number two. Does it say Lila? Lila? Do you agree with that or I'm lying? You you are um, putting words. Do you in my agree? Mouth. No, you said that it's recorded. But Everybody will laugh at no, you. It no, is no, recorded. No, no. Said, you cannot say you did not say that. So when you say Li Lila Lila, what the word Li mean? What the letter Li mean? Li La. What Li mean? As long you claim you speak Arabic. You're not letting me talk. I'm asking you, what's wrong with you? What okay. Lee mean? Lee Lah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. It's okay. So what Lee mean? Uh, Isma Hamar. Isma Hamar. Listen. He's calling me donkey uh, now. By the way, Abdul, you don't say Hamar. You say Himar. Yeah, Himar. Don't call me Hamar. Yes, yes. Himar. Yes. Okay. So let, yes, let, let yes. me ask you, as long as you are calling me Himar, friend, speak, don't you know, don't you know that your prophet wife, her father is his name is Jash. What Jash mean? It's mean donkey. So you're a prophet, he married from a woman, her last name is Donkey. And not only that, your grandfather, the prophet name is Kilab, which means dogs. So you're a prophet, is a son of dogs and married to the sons of uh, donkeys. So why you are calling me names of animals? Now, answer. Lila, who is Li and what is La? You speak Lebanese Arabic, you know, that's not Arabic. Abdul, that's Abdul, 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 answer me. Li, la, who is Li and who is la? What Li mean and what la mean? If my name is uh, Theodore, does that mean that uh, my name is Odor? Uh, your name, you, you, you're playing, you're playing you, games. Your name, name is the back Theodore. door. Your name is the back door. Now name, answer, don't name. change the topic. This is the Arabic, this is the name of your God. La. Li la, what li mean and who is la? Okay, let's go to the Bible. In the first verse of the Genesis, <laughs> it, says, it says, listen, see, you're going to hang up on me now. You're going to hang up on me Yes, now. I will I hang up scared. on you because you are a you're coward. Scared. You are, you are no, you're away. scared. I'm asking uh -huh. you, why you don't want to answer? Uh, you are the one who no chose the question. You are the one who chose the topic. You said to me, I want to ask you something. I want to ask you something. I want to ask you something. And finally, I said, okay, ask me something. You said to me, you said, you said that the Allah is the moon God. Why you are changing topic now? Is it, is, is it you who chose this topic? Tell me okay. what does that mean. My, no, God's il, il is mean God. Il, il. Hold on, hold on. Thank you for saying that. Let me ask you. In the Quran, it says that there's an angel. His name is Jibreel. What uh -huh. is the last two letters of Jibreel? Bereshit bara Elohim. I'm asking you, so, what is the last two letters of Jibreel? Jibra il. Il okay. is the word mean God. Uh -huh. Your your false prophet, he stole the word you do not know that Jibreel is not a name, it's a sentence. Now, if I ask you what the word Jibreel mean, what you will say? In the Hebrew, in the Hebrew. I'm Bible, asking you uh, what Jibreel means. My friend, I'm explaining. Let me explain. Mm. In the Hebrew Bible, it says Gabriel, not Jibril. No Gibril problem. Gibril. This is in English. Okay, I'm asking you in the Arabic, in the Arabic, you, in your Quran, what Jibril mean? Jibril, uh, we don't know. We don't know the name. You know what Jibril? What do you know? You, so are you saying to me, you Muslims, you stole the name from the Jews, but you do not know what this mean? It's the Arabic way of the name Gabriel. I'm asking you. So no problem. The Arabic way. So what is the Jibril mean? Uh, we don't know. Ah, uh, because you know. are following an ignorant, stupid prophet. Uh -huh. Because well, how in the world? How, okay, what Ishmael mean? Ishmael. Uh, the one who struggled with God. Ishmael mean the one who struggled with God. Okay, if, wait, uh, who taught you that? Uh, it's, uh, uh, that's what um, I've read. I'm asking you who taught you that? Where? Where you read that? Where? Wait, 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 wait. You talking about? With, uh, Ishmael, uh, or, uh, Ishmael uh, yes, Ishmael. What Ishmael mean? Um, uh, God will uh, hear. Okay. So, where is the word God in the word Ishmael? That no, that's the transliteration in uh, Hebrew. Abdul, don't in Hebrew. Where is the word God in the word Ishmael? Where is the word God 
in the word Ishmael. In Arabic. I am asking you in Arabic. In no. Ara I don't care. Where is the can word answer. God? Where is the word God in Arabic? In the word Jibril? No problem. Jibril in Arabic. I will I will, okay. Where I will is the word God? Where, where we can find the word God? I will answer. Can, huh? can I answer? Yes, sure, sure. The, okay, you are trying to mix Hebrew with Arabic. It I am not. I am not. You said to me Jibril is an Arabic okay, word. So I'm asking you. you I'm please. asking you, Abdul. Stop being a stop being a kid. I want you to be a man for one time in your life. You said Jibreel in Arabic, so I'm saying to you, Jibreel in Arabic, where is the word God? You are the one who says that there is the word God there. Which part of the word Jibreel or Ishmael is the word God? Are you finished? Waiting for the answer. It's, it's okay, in Hebrew. Don't tell word, me in Hebrew. I'm asking you, where is the word God in the Arabic Jibreel? Which oh, is, we, we, what we, is the word God in the, and you said to me, Jibreel name include the word God. I, did, that, I didn't say Jibreel, I said Gabriel, not Jibreel. Gabriel, Gabriel, okay, in Arabic, in Arabic, Jibreel. When we say Jibreel in Arabic, the Quran, the Quran, when we say the word Jibreel, Jibreel, where is the word God? Uh, what the word Jibreel mean? If you're not letting me talk, I cannot talk. Listen. In, in Hebrew, okay, it, it means... I don't uh, want in Hebrew. Stop playing a game. You are dumb like your prophet. I'm asking you, what is the name Jibreel mean in Arabic? You do not know. Okay, relax. you told me, you told me about relax. Ishmael. Relax. Okay, hold on, Ishmael, relax. forget relax. about Jibreel. Relax. Relax. No, 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 I'm, I'm laughing. We are relax. laughing. We are laughing at the stupidity. You're, you're going you to have heart attack. No, relax. the one relax. who have heart attack is your prophet and he died from poison. He's already dead. I'm alive. And here we go. Stop. You cannot relax. answer me. All of you, 1.4 billion Muslims, none of you knows what Jibreel means. This is because your prophet is a God thief. It means God will hear. It's, it means what? God will hear. God will hear. Guys, God will hear. Jibreel. Mm -hmm. this, is the, this is the meaning of Jibreel. Mm -hmm. This is the meaning of Jibreel. This is the meaning of Jibreel. This is the meaning of Jibreel. God will hear. Where do you get this from? Look, in, okay, look in, in Hebrew. The word Ishmael, Shema, Shama, Shama means to hear. <laughs> Get lost, stupid. It means God. Get lost, stupid, idiot, what? donkey. I give you time more than you deserve. You just prove to us that your God, Allah, is the moon God. Allah, that's your word, not my words. However, the A-L, it means the in Arabic, yes. But in the ancient Aramaic, Al is equal to the word God. So each time you say the, lillah, li here is two. This li here is equal to two, the letter two. So we type here the word two. This is what the word mean. L is equal to two. Two la. Let us make it in different colors so people can recognize better. So this letter la, sorry, L is equal to. What is the name after that? It is la. That is the name of your God. La. In here, the is equal to Al, which is the word God. And this is in the ancient Hebrew and the ancient Aramaic. So even in Hebrew, the word Al was God, and then it became Il. So Israel, it was Israel. Ishmael, it was Ishmael. Gabriel was Gabriel. In the new Hebrew, the letter Al, which is equal to God, it's not a name, it's just a word being God. Is transformed into eel. So we say Jesus is Emmanuel. He is God with us. And this is what happened when you have a thief who copy names, but he do not know what those names mean. The same we find with the fool Muhammad. If we go to chapter 36 in the Quran, we find that Muhammad is quoting his God as seen. Yeah, seen. What Yasin? Who is Yasin? Look at the name of the verse. 
You can change to any translation. You will find that the Muslims, they have no idea what this is mean. What Yasin? Yasin. Ya is a word equal to God. It's not a name of God. It's a word equal to God. Generic word for God. But this is in the Aramaic language. Sin is the moon God. And this is why the Muslim, they could not translate it because nobody knows what is that. You go to the interpretation, everyone is guessing. Some they say this is Aramaic and we do not know what Allah mean by that. But Yasin or Yasin is a word mean God, seen God, which is the God of the moon. And those who they are, Christians who used to worship sin when they were pagan, they use the word sin today when they translate something as equal to sin. So they say this is sin, this is pagan, this is sin, this is sin. So your God, one of his name is sin. Do you see it? Stupidity. Muhammad, he collect names, he put them in the Quran. And more proof of the collection of the of names, as an example, the Quran says that the father of Abraham is Azar. Ask any Muslim, what is the name of your father of Abraham? He will say to you, Azar, the Quran says that. <laughs> the stupid author of the Quran, he thought Azar is a word mean, or it's a word which is a name, but the fact it's not. It's a word mean a fool. So Abraham, he said to his father, Azar, foolish. Are you going to worship idols? The stupid Muhammad, he thought that the word Azar is the name of the father of Abraham. But all of us, we can go right now. It take you two seconds to, to, to search. What is the name of the father of Abraham in a prophet? Google peace upon him. And you will find that there's nobody ever mentioned such a name. But the fool Muhammad, he thought the word fool is the name of the father of Abraham. Have you ever, an Aramaic person, he will call his, his, his son fool? And now the Muslim, they think that Azar is the name of the father of Abraham. But this is a word mean fool. Muhammad, he copied from the one who was translating from the gospel and from the Torah which his name is Waraq ibn Nufal, and the hadith referred to that clearly in Sahih hadith. So Muhammad, he heard him saying that Abraham, he said to his father, Azar. Muhammad, he thought that Azar is the name of the father, but in fact, he was saying to him, Father, foolish father, you should not worship idols. Makes sense, right? That makes sense. This is foolish father. You should not worship idols as God. And this is what happened when you follow a thief like Muhammad, who do not know what he is talking about. And this is why they do not know what Jibreel mean, what Ishmael mean, what Israel mean, what Mikael mean, what Israel, all those names Muhammad he copied from the Jews, and he have no idea what Abraham mean, they don't know. What Isa mean, they do not know. They don't know. What Moses mean, they don't know. For it is a theft religion. Can you show us reference? Yeah, this, you know, you can go and ask anyone who studied the ancient Aramaic and he will show you. Azar is a fool, foolish. It's not a secret. Actually, even in your Islamic interpretation, later they notice the Christian, they start laughing at them and they said, Azar is not the name of the father of, Muhammad, uh, of Abraham. There's many Islamic scholars that discover that this is stupid, but it's too late. Any Muslim? Did we have a good time, guys? The funny Indonesian guy who say he do not know how to say two, even this guy who don't speak two Arabic words together, he is he's, he's going to challenge me in Arabic. <laughs> By the way, I, I want to tell you something. I just ordered a lot of a glue from Amazon.com. Because each time Muslims, they, each time I go online, the Muslim they destroy me. 
and I spent the day after that trying to glue myself together. So don't forget, thank you for your donation because we are using it for a glue. If you wonder where the donation is going, it's for a glue, brother. Do you see what happened? I wish I can show you my face now. I have a lot of dark spots in my face right now from the beating of this guy. This guy was beating me all over. Unbelievable. Stupid cult. So, I hope that we have a good time. Uh, this uh, this video will disappear for uh, maybe an hour because we load it in different channel. But then always to find the videos which we just made today or the day before. Remember, copy the title. After two hours from now or three hours maximum, search for the, the same title and filter to search for the last 24 hours and you will find the video. All right? Very easy. شنو عسل 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 النحل جاك النحل يا تارك الصلاة شنو عسل the the the, the brother he's saying to me عسل عسل which means like in, this is an Egyptian uh, style they say like when somebody is doing great they say honey honey you know so I'm saying to him don't say honey there's a lot of bees around if I show you from my windows what I have you will be scared even though it's very cold I don't know how the bees can live until now it's a freezing outside unbelievable all right. Uh, no, we are going to use the quality of life. Uh, you know, I will I will make a video there soon. But you have to give me an idea, topic to talk about it. All right. And we are posting here videos have nothing to do with Islam too, because we don't want to keep our channel empty. You know, because we don't keep here anything. As you know, YouTube they target us. What we can do. All right, my friend. Remember carefully. We are, you see, the reason we are sure of a victory, not because you have a Christian prince. Christian prince is no one. Victory always comes from the Lord. The one who stands with the truth, he will never be defeated. The Lord, he said, they can kill your body. What is the benefit of a man? He can win the whole world, but he lost his soul. So the winning we do, we win souls. It's not about a body. It's not about a land. It's not about money. It's not about a, 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 a government. We don't care for those things because everything will be demolished. And everything will go. The Lord, he says, everything will perish except my words. Will not. So the word of the Lord is going to defeat every cult exists in this earth. Not only the cult of Muhammad the thief. And a Christian prince is nothing but just a person transferring knowledge which you don't have because, let us say, God, he he helped me to speak Arabic. God, he gave me the gift to know, to recognize, to be able to, to connect the dots together. And God, he gave me a gift which is called the brain. Thank you, Lord, for what I have. So everything I have is a gift from my Lord, nothing of my own. And by him, we are victorious. And this is why when we go live on air, we say, we challenge anyone to call us. We don't know who's going to call. And we don't care who will call. Because it doesn't matter who call. He is going to be in trouble. And he will face an extreme humiliation of ignorance and stupidity. Not only because he is a fool, but because he is following a fool. And this is what happened to you when you are a fool following a fool. If the best example of you is a fool, so what you expect from those who follow a fool? When the Quran says the sun set in the murky water, and then we show them Muhammad saying that, explaining that, not only the Quran saying that, how you follow a fool, how you can do so. Uh, it is stupid. This is logic. We talk about Allah. He's talking about Theodore. What Theodore have to do with my... <laughs> we are talking about ancient language. What Theodore have to do with our topic? This is stupid. So we are showing what those letters who they are in the beginning, they are not part of the name. This is why in the first verses in the Quran, one, it says Allah. The second verse says Lillah. Because simply, it's not a name, the first two letters. It's not part of the name. That's why you can take them off. When I say the Christ, that is not part of the name. But I cannot take any letters out of the Christ as a Christ. But that I can say. I can say Christ said to me. But I can say the Christ. 
But Christ do not need that because he is the only one. There's no other Christ. And this is why even in Arabic it says Al-Masih. Al-Masih. Al is added before names which is not to be in competition with any. وَقَوْلَهُمْ إِنَّا قَتَلْنَا الْمَسِيحِ Why he is Al-Masih? Because there's only one Messiah and divine to be the only one. There's many Muhammad. There's many Isa. But there's only one Christ. And this is why Muslims are not allowed to give a name to any child of their own as Al-Masih. If somebody claim to be or call himself Al-Masih, the Muslims will kill him immediately. But you can call yourself Muhammad. Because the Messiah is the Lord and nobody earn his name. Even in your stupid cult. The name of the Messiah, my friend, in Arabic, in English, in Hebrew, it doesn't matter. The second you say it, a human being, his body is in trouble. He is like an electric shot. And this is how the Muslims even feel when they say the word al Messiah. It's a very powerful name. It doesn't matter who is the one reading the name. The second you say the Messiah, you are, you feel something different. And maybe many people do not know. There's a lot of churches in the Middle East sponsored by the donation of Muslims for the sake of Al-Masih because they knew Muhammad have no healing. Anyone have a problem from the Muslims believe. He go to the Messiah asking for help. He don't go to Muhammad. Muhammad, he died because of a poison and Allah, neither him, could not save him. Very slow death. That is Muhammad. And this story here raised many questions. If Muhammad is the most beloved prophet for Allah, as Muslims they claim, so why Allah, he saved Isa, but he did not save Muhammad? The truth is ugly, my friend. And the Muslims cannot handle the truth. Right? That is the truth. Anyway, I want to say thank you all for being here. Remember, this video will disappear from my channel for two or three hours. Again, after three hours, search for how to approach a Muslim and save him from Islam. Search it a few hours from now, and you will have the video posted again in different channels. Until, until we go again live on air, if the Lord you want us to do so, I say may the Lord bless you all. And if you like to learn more about Islam, you can read my books. And I have now more translation posted. We have Six and Allah in Spanish. And, uh, uh, you know, we have Six and Allah in Dutch. We have Six and Allah in German. All of those, uh, they are up and in Amazon in the last uh, seven days only. So I'm glad for those who help us for the translation. So many people from many languages can read and they can learn. Thank you. May the, Lord, may the Lord bless you all. And until I see you again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. And as Muhammad, he said, as a Jew, he said to Muhammad, this is how we do it. Thank you.